All right. Hey, guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be for the, of course, monthly installment of the movie preview. Summer is somehow over. Uh, I really flew by, but uh, we are officially in the fall season. Uh, even though it doesn't feel like it, we are in the fall season for sure. Um, and I... Uh, just to kick it off, I am not here with two. I am here with three guests here. Um, very happy to have them all here. Not really the first one I'm going to introduce. Uh, he's someone who, you know, you guys you guys know him. He's been with me since the beginning, unfortunately. And uh, he, he really hasn't been on the movie previews all that much this year, thankfully. Um, you know, Double, uh, Double Nine has, uh, has, has filled that void for him. But... Um, he was supposed to be here last month, but he's here now. Here he is, Auburn Wanderer. Hello, everyone. It is me, the the Auburn Penguin. Yes. Um, and I'm happy to be here. Uh, this uh, this month looks amazing, except for it, Chapter Two. Oh yeah. And, uh, I, I can't wait to rip that movie to shreds. But yeah, uh, besides that, it, besides that, it's gonna be the best month of all time. So yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, also here with me, uh, he's only been on my channel. He's been on my channel a couple times, but he's only been on the movie preview uh, once before. But he's here again, even though his laptop didn't want to cooperate. Here he is, Diego Coya. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you, Kevin, for having me on. Um, of course. This month does look kind of interesting. Uh, I guess we'll get into that as we go over the month. Yes. But I'm excited. But like I said, I'm excited to be here and excited to discuss the movies that are going to be coming out in September. All right, and lastly, here with me as a uh, last-minute addition, but, you know, there's a certain movie that's coming out, and I felt like I needed to get him on. So here he is, the one and only Seth Rogen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Seth Rogen. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, it is uh, Adam Haskell. <laughs> yeah, um... Oh shit! There's all the movies we're talking oh, about. Oh, it just flashed yeah, on the um, screen, I think. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Like uh, yeah, uh, spoil all the movies we're talking about. Bro, uh, which you is were gonna... supposed to send him. You never did. I forgot. All right, I'm stupid. Just redo Adam's intro then. I don't even know if that's gonna show up, but whatever. Um, all right, and lastly, here with me. No, uh, was... no, no, no. Keep in the Seth Rogen part and just have uh, Adam like, right. and just say like it's actually Adam. In, in all seriousness, guys, uh, it is, of course, Adam Haskell. Yeah, um, I'm really excited to talk about these movies. I mean, most of them look like shit, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, so uh, Adam just uh, brought it up. Uh, yeah, this kind of looks like garbage, to be honest with you. Um, this has been happening a lot lately. I've noticed this trend. Like, September used to be the start of, you know, Oscar season and things like that. But these last two years, especially this year, it feels more like an extended August than anything. Like, there are some gems in there that do look really fucking good. But then there's stuff like some of the movies we're going to talk about that really don't look all that great. But either way, we're just going to get into it. Now, the first one we're talking about, uh, none of you have heard of. There's a few movies in here that none of you have heard of, but this one especially, none of you have heard of. It is, in fact, a uh, requested, um, you know, this was a request from Jordan Farrell. Uh, he has been working on this movie for a very long time now, so we are, in fact, going to talk about it. So, coming out on, I believe, September 5th is the premiere of his film, Scooby-Doo, The Backstage Rage. All right, so Scooby-Doo, The Backstage Stage rate overall. Um, I'm not going to say too much how this looks uh, quality wise. Uh, mainly just, I really hope you guys check this out. Jordan has worked very hard on it. Um, basically, this is, I, I got to know it. I, I found out about this um, through him just like messaging me on Instagram one day. And, you know, we've kept in touch about it. And he seems really passionate about this film. The fact that he put this much time and effort into what is simply just a fan film, and no, it doesn't look, you know, up to par quality-wise things like that, but it's it's that dedication. That's what really sticks out here to me, and I really do hope it does pay off for him, and I really do hope you guys check it out. Um, it looks like there's a lot of, you know, spirit put in there, but it's a more adult take on Scooby-Doo, which is something else I'm interested in getting into. And just overall, I hope this turns out uh, really well for Jordan, for sure. But, uh, Caden, is there anything you want to say? I mean, you know, I grew up Scooby-Doo, like, really heavily and stuff, so it's cool to see, yes. uh, you know, like, a really passionate fan and stuff. 
take it and like do the, all the animation by themselves and get people together who like actually like sound like the characters enough and they seem yeah. like they're doing a good job and you know like doing like like their own like take like you know like Jordan doing his own take on the film making it darker and making it something that he can connect towards you know more now in his life and you know just doing what he wants to do with characters that he clearly admires and I'm excited everyone should go check it out and support it yeah uh Diego yeah um I I will say you guys pretty much uh nailed it all um I do think it looks promising uh, yeah. And you can tell that um, the person behind this put a lot of passion into it. So um, I-, I would say to those who haven't heard of it, uh, you know, go go and give it a chance. Go check it out. Yeah. Uh, and then Adam. Yeah, basically what you guys said. Um, <laughs> you guys should check it out. Um, yeah. I mean, as, as – as someone who makes movies with, like, you know, not much of a budget and stuff, like, I do like to support other people that do, like, the yeah. same thing. And it looks like he's putting a lot of hard work into this. And um, it looks pretty good, I must say. So I'm excited to see how it is. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Scooby-Doo the Backstage Rage, again, no, you guys haven't heard too much about it, but uh, it's a film that uh, I've been looking forward to for a while. I am going to review it uh, once it's out, and uh, hopefully it, it lives up to the hype. So yeah, Scooby-Doo the Backstage Rage, that's the first. The real first film is this uh, really relatively small movie. I don't think many people know what it really is, except this this stupid ginger right here. For some reason, cares about this this dumb movie coming out. You know, man, uh, you know, th- this movie, man, I got to roll my suits for it, you know. This, uh, this movie, um, this is going to be the worst movie of all time. This is my oh, yeah. anticipated movie of all time. Yes. I can't believe this movie's actually coming out, like, for some I reason, know. even though the first one bombed. Uh, but, yeah, um, and that is It Chapter 2. All righty! Let's get into this one all right so even though you're not wearing your pennywise shirt first of all kevin i have hoodies okay i got it chapter two hoodies i wanted to wear my starboy shirt okay even though that has nothing actually, actually wait wait i think i know why you're wearing that and i'm really pissed off if it's why i think you are but um go no, ahead i'm only wearing it because i i wanted to wear it it's a comfy shirt <laughs> Well, we'll get into it, but uh, keep, keep, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> They're cutting that whole thing up. That was cringy as hell. Anyways. It, it was. All right. In all seriousness, uh, I think people know uh, by, by, by now that uh, It, the first one, 2017, was my most anticipated film of all time. I don't, I'm not, I don't think I need to get into many reasons as to why. I think it's been pretty well publicized why I, I adore yeah. Uh, it's so much, and now we got it chapter two, and I'm even more excited for this one. Uh, this is my most anticipated film of all time, and uh, you know, I won't I won't go on for too too long about it. I'm gonna save that uh for the top five anticipated video we're doing with uh, Tony Estrada later on. Um, but what I will say here is that what um, you know, the first film I loved. And I just saw the re-release of it. Uh, and, like, re-watching the first film, like, it really hit me how, like, this film is going to take what was so good. And all the, re- re- all the reactions are basically, like, confirming this. In which I personally don't mind. It's, gonna, it's basically going to take, like, um, the innocence, somewhat of the innocence factor of the first one. And kind of, like, you know, like, the, um, the, the subtle, like, aggressiveness of it and, like, actually make it, like, really aggressive and, like, even yeah. more darker and even more grisly. Um, because, you know, the thing that was so good about the first one was that it captured, like, the, the idea of innocence and it being absolutely, like, fucked over. And, of course, you know, you had all the losers, you know, that were so good, you know. Um, you know, you know Bill, you know, was, you know, great. Uh, and, and I'm excited to see, you know, this year, you know, James McAvoy is a great actor. Um, and and uh, especially after seeing, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, Split and Glass, especially Glass, I'm, I really want to see more stuff from him. So it's, you know, it's great that he's in this. You know, I got Beverly, uh, who's probably my favorite loser. Jessica Chastain, fantastic actress. I'm really, really excited to see what she does here. Uh, of course, you know, you got, and uh, some of these other actors, I don't know their names. Obviously, you know, I got Ben. 
uh, and Eddie and Richie, uh, Stanley, uh, you know, uh, Mike. And I said, I said Richie, right? Because I want to bring up uh, Bill Hader as well. Yes, you did. You did. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah, I know Bill Hader. I'm very excited to see in the, in the eight minute footage that we saw, uh, after the release of the chapter two, he was the fucking standout besides Jessica Chastain. He was fucking hilarious. And like, I, I, I'm hearing he's fantastic in this. And I can't wait to see that. How I'm, I can't wait to see how all the losers as the adults come back together and the chemistry these actors form. Because in the first one, all the actors and uh, actresses, you know, like, you know, in the first one, like, they had such great chemistry. And, you know, that bond was what made it so well. You know, it was kind of like the, the Goonies kind of Stranger Things in a way. But, like, it, but you know, it was, like, you know, a really, really dark story. Um, but it, and it really worked. And obviously, you know, Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise is a fucking monster. And this, and this one... I'm, 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 I can't wait to see what he does with the role because he has so much more to work with in this one. And, you know, other characters are returning, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, which I, I don't want to, you know, get into too much of that just because some people don't want to know. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I've heard they uh, they include a lot more from the book in this one, and there's going to be some pretty uh, interesting stuff that happens in this one. And obviously, you know, it's almost three hours long, which I'm totally fine with. They need, they really, I, I'm really happy to hear it's that long because, like, there's so much that you, that you need to, like, flesh out in this one. And as a massive of a fan as I am of this, like, I'm just so excited to see it. And I'm just, like, I'm just, I feel like this one is going to improve on the atmosphere, the visuals, uh, and, you know, the, you know, like, the scare factors the first one had. Because the first one, like, was a, for me, it was an intense movie, even though I knew everything that was going to happen in it mainly. You know, they, you know, they changed things around, but I know they're going to change more in this one. But it's, like, it, it still felt like a really refreshing mm-hmm. scene on the story and you know even though i heard this one's kind of similar ish to how the first one was you know like just kind of like in not like like in vibe i guess you could say like to like you know to me like you know it's like it's like how it's like to me like how does andy muschetti and etc everyone else you know um you know barbara muschetti and everyone else who worked on the film you know how do they how did they take this tutorial and flip it to how they want to interpret it because they did that well in the first one but they have less restrictions now because obviously the first one was like a huge fucking hit um and i'm just so so excited to see this it's just so crazy because like this film specifically obviously i was out of my mind excited to see the first uh it uh and see you know how they you know um you know capture that because you know i love story but like this is what i really wanted to see all along it chapter two because the you know the miniseries adaptation was garbage it was simply fucking garbage they 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 really could not do uh it justice because the, the the second the adult loser stuff is just it's it's way too I don't want to say risque, but it's like there's too much stuff that's just kind of weird and like a bit a bit really hard to capture on film. But yeah, now yeah. obviously we're in, down. yeah, but obviously now we're in 2019, not 1990. The first one was a huge hit, so they improved the budget for this one and they proved they they, they just removed the whole scope. And this is this one I feel like is actually gonna feel like an epic. And obviously I'm looking forward to the final showdown, which is gonna be insane. And I'm just like you know, I can go on and on about this, but, you know, I'm just so, so excited to see this. I'm seeing an opening night in IMAX with Adam here. Coincidentally, that's going to be fun. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'll say now for this. This is my most fun of all time. It's just so crazy this is actually coming out because, like, I've been dreaming about this idea of this movie for so long. And it just, and, like, I can't yeah. believe it was almost already two years since the Chapter 1 came out. Like, it's yeah, fucking it's crazy. crazy. And now we got Chapter 2, and it's going to be fucking crazy. And it's going to be a very emotional night for me, and it's my most fun of all time. So, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it chapter two. I mean, I feel like Caden pretty much said everything that I needed to. I don't really think I can articulate it as well as he can, considering how much of an uber fan he is of the this story but uh, I'm obviously very excited I mean this to me just looks like the definition of an epic conclusion it looks like they're gonna take everything that worked in the first film and really just expand upon it get more into that childhood trauma the shared childhood trauma they've all gone through but also seeing them in their adult lives and them trying to kind of move on from it and how it's affected them and there's as Kane said there's like a lot of stuff that the miniseries couldn't do well because well it was on ABC and they weren't They couldn't take the risks that they are going to be able to hear. And because of that, uh, I came across as very cringy and very over the top. But here, I feel like they're going to be able to do it in a much more grounded and nuanced way. Uh, Specifically, the stuff they're going to end up doing with, like, Bev and things like that. I mean, there's some crazy stuff that goes on there. And uh, I'm excited to see the way things uh, play out there for sure. Uh, The entire cast here, I mean, what a stellar cast you have. I mean, James McAvoy, Bill Hader, Jessica Chastain, that trio alone is enough for a reason to get me excited. I mean, 
I remember when everyone's like, Jessica Chastain needs to play Beverly. Jessica Chastain. I'm like, that. everyone's like, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And now here we are. It's actually happening. Um, I can't wait to see how she really does uh, turn out here. Uh, you also have Andy Bean, who was phenomenal in Swamp Thing, and I'm very excited to see how he is here. Uh, you know, James Ranson from Sinister. Uh, Isaiah Mustafa, the Old Spice guy. But overall, I'm very excited to see how this uh, turns out for sure. And then Bill Skarsgård, of course. Uh, I already think he's going to top his performance um, that he's in the first film here. Because to me, it seems like we're getting a much more old and decrepit sounding Pennywise who at this point he knows that he's not able to scare them so he is going out of his way to um to lure them and do what he can to really um you know reignite those fears that they didn't have anymore there's just there's a lot that they can really do with this and I just hope that it's well utilized there's so much that can happen with this film there's so many possibilities. The fact that it is as long as it is gets me so excited. I can't wait to see the way it turns out. And uh, yeah, I know this film's been getting pretty mixed reviews, but I'm not going to let that stop me from getting excited. I've watched this trailer constantly recently. It gets me so hyped. And I really hope this turns out great because I, I think this could be something really incredible for sure. And I, I hope that they don't fuck this up here. Chapter one turned out so well. I really hope chapter two uh, delivers in the way we want it to. Diego. <laughs> All right. So, uh, it chapter two is easily one of the most anticipated films of the entire of the rest of the year. Uh, to be oh, exact, yeah. it's my fourth uh, most anticipated of the fall movie season, nice. and one of the big reasons why is because, first of all, I liked the 2017 version a lot. I thought that was very good, and I've oh, been yeah. so impressed with the two trailers that the it chapter two um, it chapter two delivered. Uh, the first teaser with the old lady and the second trailer that, um, I, that I've seen a lot in the theaters, but I don't mind because it's fantastic. No, oh, yeah. Uh, sure. uh, you guys pretty much said it all. I mean, the cast is amazing. Um, the fact that it's two hours and 50 minutes doesn't make me skeptical at all. It makes me more excited. Uh, I feel like it, it's that long for a reason. You know, I feel like they're, they're going to make it that long because it has to be. It's going to be an yeah. epic. There's probably a lot of stuff they have to go over. And, um, I'm super excited. I think I predict that it will be scarier than the first one. I think oh, yeah. uh, it'll definitely be crazier too. I mean, I heard there's apparently this really gory scene um, that's that people are going to be talking about after after they see the movie. Yeah, yeah, and, also, uh, yeah, yeah the most blood I think in any movie ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is insane. Heard, which is heard, insane. I heard, the, I heard the opening scene of this is more disturbing than the Georgie scene, which I'm not. Yep. Which is saying I'm, a lot. I'm not I, I, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, like I, uh, Bill Skarsgård, uh, you guys said that he, uh, you guys think he's going to do better than the second one, and I, I agree. I think he has potential. He's going to be in it more, I, I believe. And, yeah, I'm just super excited. I mean, you guys said it all pretty much. I mean, I don't want to like sound like a parrot and repeat you two, but, uh, yeah, I'm right. super excited and can't wait. All right, Adam. Uh, yeah, this is my most anticipated film for the rest of the year. I adore the first It. Like, I, I was excited for that movie, but that movie just, like... Like, uh, it just blew me away. Like, it, it exceeded my <laughs> expectations. I, I just love that movie. It's honestly one of my favorite horror movies, if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys. Um, and this one looks even better, in my opinion. Um, I think it looks way, way scarier... I think the adult losers, I think they look great. I think they pick perfect people for them. And um, I'm really excited to see Bill Hader. I'm hearing he's actually Oscar-worthy in this film. Like, like, I was expecting people to say he was, like, great and stuff, but Oscar-worthy, like, holy yeah. shit, that makes yeah, me that's really crazy excited. That's for a movie like this. Yeah. Uh, Bill Skarsgård, he was amazing in the first it, and he looks even scarier here i cannot oh, yeah. wait to see him again mm-hmm. um yeah uh the movie looks really weird which i like it looks very strange and crazy and just i'm really excited uh, um i think the long runtime like I, I i really am excited for that too because uh there's a lot they can go over and um yeah uh the fact that it's nearly three hours definitely makes me more excited. 
And yeah, I can't wait. Um, easily, I most anticipated for the rest of the year. It just looks fantastic. So yeah. Yeah. So I uh, I think we pretty much said all. It chapter two comes out on September six. We're all gonna see it. We're all hyped for it, and uh, hope it delivers on all fronts. I'm, I'm not gonna see it. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna boycott it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you watch a movie about just a stupid clown? That's all it's about. Yeah, no. I want when, when, when me and Adam go to see it in IMAX. I'm just gonna like leave the theater like a minute into the movie. Oh, okay. And yeah, fair yeah, enough. Fair sure. enough. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, you're you're not gonna stay for just till the third act. You're not gonna leave like once the third act starts. All right. Well, it's chapter two. Uh, it's coming out. Obviously, we're all hyped for it. And yeah, but uh, switching gears entirely, we go to a film that, uh, like I said, there's a lot of a lot of Oscar worthy films that are that are coming out this month. And Diego here has the pleasure of introducing what looks like the best one of them all. I know he is just dying to talk about this film. So go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, I look easily looks like the best movie of the month. Let me tell you. So, uh, this movie that I'm going to be introducing, I have the great pleasure of introducing. It's called <laughs> Satanic Panic. Now for, now, for those of you who are watching, I'm sure 99% of you, I'm going to say 99%, don't know what this movie is. I didn't know what this movie was until today, actually. So, I'll explain what the movie's about based on the trailer. So, this girl, she's a pizza delivery uh, person. She goes in this house, and it seems like is, there's a bunch of people who are like part of this is satanic cult or whatever and they're like hey are you a virgin and she's like that's kind of a weird question oh she's the one we need and uh <laughs> yeah it's pretty much the movie so obviously from the trailer and i guess from what i said it, it's obvious that it's a comedy horror film yeah. which i mean which you know we've had quite a few of those um you know recently and that can work. Like, Ready or Not is probably the most recent one where we had a film where oh, they yeah. blended uh, comedy and horror, which I think it did that very well. Uh, you yeah. know, other movies like Get Out or uh, Cabin in the Woods. And this kind of seems to follow the same trope, but I, ha- I got to tell you from this trailer, I was not impressed at all. Um, I-, I think it looks rather awful. Mm-hmm. I-, I think it honestly seems like a film that was made just straight to YouTube, not even like Netflix or Redbox. It's like one of those movies on YouTube that's just there and you can watch. I mean, I didn't laugh at all during the trailer. I actually, I cringed in a lot of it. Um, I uh, I just don't think it looks that good at all. I, I'm not surprised. I haven't heard about this until now because I can't imagine who would watch a trailer and be like, I want to see this movie. Uh, I don't know if it'll be in any theaters. I mean, I can't imagine it being in theaters at all. It but, is actually uh, going to be in some some limited theaters, believe it or not. Damn, and I wonder how many people are actually going to see it, too. Cause... I, I don't know. Damn, but uh, yeah, I, I don't really have much else to say. I did not like the trailer at all. In fact, I think it looks pretty awful, and honestly, I'm probably not even going to see it. But uh, since I know the majority of you haven't even heard of this movie, I would say check out the trailer because... Mm-hmm. It is something you got to see to believe, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a good way, but no. yeah. That's pretty much what I got to say about Satanic Panic. I'm so glad I got to introduce this instead of It Chapter 2. <laughs> First, all right. First of all, fuck you, Adam, for that photo. Um, but uh, secondly, um, yeah, so this movie looks like shit. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say much more here. Uh, Diego pretty much said everything I needed to. This just looks so dumb. This is like one of those movies where it's like, all right, there's there's been so many movies about satanic rituals. How can we make this different? Oh, let's just have her be like a pizza delivery person. And then we'll have her be like, you know, a virgin. And that'll lure us into her cult. It's like, it's not anything that original. Like, we've seen this done a thousand times before. This looks so just over the top and stupid. Uh, the fact that the most recognizable actor is fucking Jerry O'Connell. Uh, that tells you a lot for sure. Uh, this just in general looks really bad. I am not feeling this at all. Um, I similar didn't know what this was until I watched the trailer, but God, I, I really wish I could take that back. This just looks bad. This film looks like a masterpiece. Uh, oh, yeah. shit. Uh, uh, a piece of shit. Uh, so I watched some of the trailer to this. Um, and, uh, what the fuck is this? Like, actually, <laughs> like... So, like, it's her first day as a pizza delivery driver. Yeah. And, like, 
I, like, so, like, you're telling me, in one day, on her first day, she just has, like, the worst possible customers, and it just so happens her last one is a cult. A satanic <laughs> cult who, like, worships the devil, I guess, and is like, oh my god, she's a virgin, I guess she's the one, like, like, what the fuck is this? Like, like, okay, look, like, I'm not against, like, comedies using subject matter this to be funny, because, like, I, like, you know, like, obviously very different, but, like, I thought How to Talk to Girls at Parties kind of did it, at least for me, I thought it did, oh, no. I thought it, did it well when it came to, like, the, the stu- like, stupid shit like this, but, like, I, this one just looks like, it's just, like, it, it doesn't, it's not well done. Uh, it, it looks very cheap. Which I'm not saying that the movie having a cheap budget is a bad thing. Looks like here, like it really shows. It looks very amateur, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, Adam. Yeah, yeah um, this looks pretty bad. Um, it's stupid and bad. You know, it just looks bad. <laughs> I agree. Wow, there's, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, yeah. There's, thoughts as uh, as usual but uh if you're looking forward to satanic panic it comes out on september 6th i guess check it out it'll be on vod then and yeah uh that that's all we gotta say about that one uh speaking of adam though we go to another film that just looks absolutely amazing that i know he's he's very excited to introduce for sure <laughs> night hunter um well the mind hunter wait what the prequel to Mindhunter. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. This movie looked pretty fucking boring, honestly. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, I don't know. All the acting looks like it looks like nobody really cares. Yeah, no. Boring and just dumb, and I just. Like, most of the movies we're talking about, it just looks stupid. Like, fuck. Yeah, yeah no, I, I am definitely with you on this one for sure. Um, when it comes to this movie, like, I actually kind of had some promise considering the cast. I mean, you got Henry Cavill, you got Alexander Dario, Stanley Tucci, Ben Kingsley, Nathan Fillion, all actors that have shown to give some amazing range before. And so watching this movie, and most of them look like they're, like, sleepwalking through it, was very surprising to me. Uh, I don't even really care about this one, to be honest. I don't have a lot to say. The trailer was not memorable to me at all. It wasn't one that pissed me off. It was just one that bored the ever-living shit out of me. And I feel like this is a movie that would be very similar to that, uh, for sure. Just everything about this just looks so dull and whatever. And, again, it's disappointing considering that you do have some really great talent here, but it does not seem like they care at all. And uh, it very much shows here for sure. Yeah, honestly, I forgot what the movie was about. I did. I do remember watching the trailer and seeing the cast. I was like, wow, this is a great cast, but God damn, this movie does not look good. I, I um, like you guys said, it, it looks very boring. I mean, yeah. it, the concept does seem to have potential, like you said, Kevin. So I, I can see it potentially working but my god the execution just seems so dry and uh honestly it just looks like one of those straight to dvd movies you know so yeah. I'm, I'm yeah i'm not looking forward to it at all it looks very dull uh i don't know why a lot of these actors are attached to this project um just doesn't look good so if it gets bad reviews i wouldn't be surprised yeah same I didn't even watch the trailer for this one, so I had nothing to say. Wow, what the fuck? I don't, even know the the movie, I don't even know what this movie's about, to be honest. Like, Breaking like, the rules! Is Henry Cavill in this movie or something? Yeah, Henry yeah. Cavill. <laughs> That's all I know. Henry, Cavill. Henry Cavill's in it. He, he's a good actor, but I guess it doesn't look good to you. He is, yes. But, uh, yeah, so Night Hunter, if you're looking forward to it, comes in on September 6th, and, uh, yeah, check it out, I guess. Uh, not not much to uh, to really say there, but uh, now we get to another movie that I actually do kind of have some hope for, and that is uh, Miss Purple. All right, so Miss Purple overall, I didn't really know what this was at all, but I gotta say, this trailer I actually kind of liked. Um, I think this actually does look pretty good. 
neighborhood. Uh, you got these two sisters and, you know, they're abandoned by their mother and things like that. And they got to steal, deal with like all these, you know, difficulties. And it overall looks like it could be something really good, you know, be one of those uh, smaller films that doesn't get a lot of attention but ends up being like a really good film for sure and I, I think that's exactly what this could be I don't have like a ton to say about it but it just overall looks like it could be something really special and I'm I'm excited for it for sure I'm definitely it went from a film that I knew nothing about to one that I'm actually kind of curious about now I didn't even watch the trail for this I don't know what you're about sorry uh all right so um I'm kind of on the opposite uh, side of Kevin. Mm -hmm. I don't think this. I don't think this ne movie necessarily looks bad. I, I think it looks considerably better than movies like Night Hunter or Satanic Panic. Um, yeah. But but I don't know. Like I, I watched the trailer and I was like, yeah, this looks okay. Um, I, nothing really. It didn't really like grab my interest though. To be honest, I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, it could be good. If I'm not mistaken, that trailer had a couple of quotes from critics, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, how, it did. It did. Yeah, yeah. So it probably is a good movie. Um, just the trailer didn't do that much for me. Um, mm -hmm. but who knows? I mean, I don't know if I'll see it because you know I don't know if it's gonna play near me at all. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm I'm not as intrigued or as curious as Kevin is. I have to say about this movie. All right, Adam. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way as Diego. Um, just the trailer didn't really do anything for me, to be honest. Um, so yeah, uh, but maybe maybe it'll be good. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, <laughs> don't really have a lot to say. Really, it didn't really do much. Yeah. All right, so uh, Miss Purple. If you're looking forward to it, it comes out on September 6. I guess check it out. Now we get to a movie that I'm surprised doesn't look as good as it should be. But uh, Caden here is going to introduce it. And that film is strange, but true. All right. So this movie uh, does not look very good, in my opinion. Um, so let me get this straight. So like on prom night or something, I is it like, or the, I guess it's prom. Or what was it? Like prom? Yeah. I'm coming. Some guess. fucking, yes. I guess it was like a dance or some shit. So like this girl and her boyfriend like, I don't, I forget, like, the relationships they set up in the trailer and, like, who is who. But, like, basically, they're on a date and they're, like, in, like, a, like a limousine. And so, like, they're really happy. They're having a good time. And then the boyfriend gets up onto, like, the, um, the overhead, like, uh, like, window. What, I know there's, like, a term for that, but, like, I'm sorry. But, like, so, like, he... The sun The sun the Thank you very much. So, like, he, like, he put, he, like, stands up there and he's, like, yeah! And then I assume, like, there was, like, something that, like absolutely like 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 i like did like go under like a tunnel and like his head got like decapitated or something or maybe they like hit a tree or something i don't fucking know. i don't even know because like when they show it in the trailer they look like they're on their own like they're on like a highway with like nothing surrounding it mm -hmm. and they were going like really slow too so like i don't know what the fuck was happening so like you know like so so it's not that that's why it looks so bad so the film thing takes place years after this incident where then this girl comes back to the family or whatever, this family, I guess like maybe it's like a bro his brother or something. I don't fucking remember. I don't, sister, I don't fucking know. And it's like, I'm pregnant with his baby. The boyfriend who got killed in the limousine sunroof accident, I'm pregnant with his baby all these years later. And so it's like this big conspiracy of how is she pregnant with the baby? It makes no sense. And then they introduce like towards the end of the, the trailer themes of abuse and neglect and stuff. And there's like, there's there's like gun there's like a shotgun and it's like what the fuck is happening and it's like I just like yeah no I mean like this film is like a, it's like a, definitely like it's an interesting idea it's definitely an interesting idea but like it looks like it's at least from the trailer it looks like it's handling its themes in a really just like boring and messy and convoluted way and the yeah. film looks like it doesn't like it doesn't have like, like a really concrete focus and that's like good you know the acting will probably be good it's a good cast but like besides that. I'm not really sure if this film is trying to achieve besides being kind of melodramatic, which is not a bad thing. It's just like the film doesn't really have a good focus on that. So, yeah. Yeah, this one, uh, this one's really weird because you have a cast here who are all universally great. Like, like Margaret Qualley, uh, Nick Robinson, Amy Ryan, Blythe Danner, um, you know, Greg Kinnear. And they're all great actors, but they're dealing with this material that basically feels like a lifetime 
time movie. Like, honestly, that's what this movie kind of feels like. Like, you watch the trailer and you're like, why does this feel like something that would be like on the Lifetime channel? Like, it just seems really dumb and over the top. And again, I think these actors are going to elevate it. They're very talented. They've all shown their range before but this movie overall it just doesn't look very good and yeah i'm i'm with kate i legit don't know what this movie's trying to say like what theme are they trying to tackle what are they really trying to do here it just it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me um so yeah i guess we'll see how this one turns out i'm not dreading it or anything but it doesn't look good and considering the cast here i, I would expect a lot more yeah i did not like this trailer um mm-hmm. i will say the beginning kind of had my intrigue. I was like, okay, yeah. I'm curious to see where this goes. Then I thought it got so stupid. Like, just the, yeah. the plot, I think it's so stupid. And it looks so, <laughs> like you said, like a Lifetime movie. That's really what it honestly f- it looks like, like or it yeah. feels like. like. Like a movie that you would see on Lifetime or, or just on TV. Um, the cast is good. I mean, I, I uh, was impressed with the cast. That, that's what kind of had my intrigue in the beginning of the trailer. But mm-hmm. I don't know. When, when the... The trailer revealed what the movie was about. It honestly made me not want to see the movie. Not want to see the movie. So, uh, I mean, you guys said it all. I I did not like the trailer. I think it looks stupid. All right. Adam? Um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't watch this trailer. (laughs) You know what, what, Adam? It's fine. It's all right. (laughs) Uh, I'm pretty sure I've uh, watched... Uh, wow, you, you guys are just the best guests. The best guests, let me shut tell the, you. Shut the fuck up, Kevin! He wants to trail yeah, for 900... Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I was at a point... Let where... Adam talk! Um, I didn't watch this trailer, but it is my favorite trailer of all time, and I loved it, so yeah. <laughs> mm, <indeed. laughs> okay. Very, very interesting uh, debacle there for sure. You love a trailer, but it's you haven't seen a trailer, but it's your favorite trailer of all time. Definitely very special trailer for sure. Perfect. But um, yeah, if you're looking forward to Strange But True, it comes on September 6th. And uh, yeah, I really don't know how this one's going to turn out. But that's everything coming out September 6th. Uh, we got It Chapter 2 and a bunch of shit, basically. And and Miss Purple, which I think looks promising. So that's that's kind of all there is to say there but now we get to uh september 13th where we actually do get into the really good stuff well mostly really good stuff minus one movie we're going to talk about but unfortunately although it is uh one of the only good movies on this list i do not get to introduce it diego here has to introduce it and i'm pissed at him for doing so but whatever go ahead all right so the movie i'm going to be introducing is uh the goldfinch now, uh, The Goldfinch, it's considered by many people uh, one of the most anticipated movies of the fall movie season. Uh, it stars, um, uh, An- uh, fuck, what's his name? Ansel uh, Elgort. An- Ansel Elgort, yes. Baby Driver, Fault in Our Stars. Really good actor. Uh, so this movie is based off a novel. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the movie's about, uh, from the two trailers, uh, there's a little boy who loses his mother and... Um, in a, ter- in a terrorist act in, uh, in this museum. And the movie seems to follow him uh, as he grows older and how that, how he gets affected by that, how like this rich family takes him in. And it seems like to be a drama. Now, I, for me, I'm intrigued by this. I'm not as excited as uh, Kevin and a lot of other people who I know who are really looking forward to this, uh, who have this in like their top five most anticipated it's not in my top five, but I am intrigued by it. I do think it looks well made. I liked both trailers. I will say the reason why I'm not so excited, and I know it may not be a valid reason for some, but for me, uh, this movie is from the director of Brooklyn, and I know it looks very different from Brooklyn, and I'm in the minority when I say this. I was not a fan of that movie. Um, so that kind of makes me a little less excited than others uh, for this movie, but who knows? It could be terrific, and I know it's very different from Brooklyn, but I do think it looks promising. Um, Anzo Elgort looks very good in a role. Uh, Nicole Kidman does too. I mean, honestly, all the actors look like they're going to kill it. And uh, the movie looks like it could be a, a really good drama when it comes out. So that's all I got to say. I do think it looks like a good movie. I'm glad we're talking about uh, a good movie <laughs> since yeah. it's chapter two. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'll say that. 
Yeah, so uh, the Goldfinch, uh, this is one I've been hyped for for a very long time now. I adore, I'm on the complete opposite side of the spectrum when it comes to Brooklyn. I adore that film. I think that's one of Sir Sharonin's uh, best performances for sure. Just such a sweet and uh, well-done drama. And I love that Crow uh, Crowley is uh, stepping up his game here. He's tackling something far more, um, you know, far, far more uh, grander in scope and i think he is absolutely the right director to do so i'm very excited to see the way this turns out the plot of this um sounds so devastating but there's so much they can really do with it for sure uh the story of what this boy has gone through is just so tragic and i'm excited to, I'm, I'm not not excited but i'm very interested in seeing how they tackle it for sure and the caster i mean oh my god uh ansel elgord uh sarah paulson nicole kidman jeffrey wright uh finn wolfhard who i gotta say is the only thing i'm a little bit worried about i'm a little bit worried they're gonna overdo his uh russian accent and things like that but i guess we'll see the way that turns out but i mean john crowley and then roger deakins at the helm for, for the cinematography i mean how can i not be hyped out of my mind for this every time i get this trailer i'm on the verge of tears um it's just su it just looks like such a a well done emotional film i cannot wait to see the way this turns out and uh yeah easily in my top 10 most anticipated for the rest of the year for sure it looks like everything i love i cannot wait to see this one for sure roger deacon's first movie since wait what is this roger deacon's first movie since blade runner it is yes well, um, i'm actually kind of surprised but i mean it looks very well shot so as far as i had that aspect i'm surprised it's just one since that yeah. so I had heard of this movie, uh, just, like, the title of the movie, like, on and off, because, like, this movie, like, Kevin, this is, it has hype behind it, but, like, I didn't know what it was about, so I just, I watched the trailer, uh, you know, uh, before we started this, and this movie looks fucking incredible. Yeah. Uh, this film looks so good. Um, you know, I, I, I this, I, I feel like the trailer to this movie isn't really showing how the actual movie's gonna be. Oh, you know what yeah, I mean yeah. by that is, like, the trailer tries to capture it in, like, a sort of, like, coming-of-age style while still, like, you know, being, like, really, like, mature. And I'm not saying coming-of-age movies are mature. Obviously, like, there's a good amount of them are mature. But, like, it, like the trailer looks like it's trying to capture it in a more lightful way than I think like the actual film is going to be. Uh, because I think the actual this actual film is going to capture trauma and, you know, the uh, recovery aspects of it in a very, very compelling way. Um, I mean, the, the plot of this film is devastating um yeah but the idea of you know growing up and you know growing up with someone whose mother was also you know killed in the attack and you know like you know the painting with the goldfinch you know latching on to it because you know it's like the you know like the only it's kind of like you know a sense of comfort in a way and you know it's just like the the whole like the, it look, it's like it's like, it's like, like the whole like story looks like it's gonna be you know just like so just like heartbreaking and like in a way like it like inspiring um and I, this film, I mean, like, visually looks, like, really fucking great. Uh, and it, it looks like it's going to be, you know, very, like, intense and, you know, like, you know, very, like, intent on detail and stuff. And I, I'm really, really excited to see this. The cast is great. Uh, and I, I definitely am going to go try to see this in theaters now. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this movie now. Adam. Yeah, um... This movie definitely looks really good, in my opinion. Um, the acting all looks great. Uh, the story definitely looks really heartbreaking, and it looks like it's going to be really well executed. And the cinematography looks great, and the trailer was very well put together. It was very powerful, and like... Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely really looking forward to this one. Um, it definitely looks like one of the better films of this month. Uh, definitely. Sure. And, um... <laughs> and, yeah... Uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. So, yeah. Yeah, so uh, The Goldfinch, if you guys are excited for it, which I'm sure a lot of you are, it does come out on September 13th. Definitely going to be a big film in terms of, like, accolades and things like that for sure. Another film, though, that unfortunately might be a, a Oscar-type film uh, is one that really doesn't look all that great. And I don't know how this is getting... Uh, accolade, possibly getting accolades and things like that, but uh, Adam here is going to introduce this this absolutely amazing film. That uh, film is Hustlers. <laughs> um, <laughs> this just this looks really dumb. Um, 
honestly, uh, the trailers annoyed me. Um, yeah. I don't think it looks like the worst film of this month, but uh, it's still, yeah. Um, I don't know. The acting doesn't look good to me, and I, I already am kind of just forgetting. Like I, I forget what even happened in the trailer. I just remember being annoyed with it. So yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah. That's all I really have to say. And not really. I don't know. Yeah. This looks fucking atrocious. Jesus Christ. Um, I am dreading this film so much. The second I heard that it was a thing, I was very much against it. And this just looks awful to me. It just it looks like one of those films that it's trying to be very woke and things like that and it's just not working at all uh the cast here is one of the strangest ensembles i've seen in such a long time you have actors i really like like constance Wu, someone who i think is always really great i loved her in crazy rich asians last year i've liked her in other things she's popped up in i think she's very talented um you have Kiki Palmer, an actress that, for the most part, I really do like. You have Julia Stiles, an actress I do usually really like. And then you have fucking people like Cardi B, for some reason, and and Lizzo, and, of course, my favorite actress of all time, Jennifer Lopez, totally not one of the worst actresses working today, for sure. Uh, yeah, so this just a... And then you have the fucking chick from Riverdale in here. So just a, a really weird ensemble overall. Um, it seems like they're all going to give, like, really different kind of performances. I, I'm really not into this idea it really just isn't doing anything for me and i'm honestly really surprised this film is getting like um it's gonna show like film festivals and things like that because to me this just seems like a really generic film maybe it's really great you know maybe it is but the trailer itself uh just looks fucking awful to me Every Every single time it plays, I'm just like, why? Why is this a thing? Uh, it just looks terrible, and I am not for this film at all. Again, I like Constance Wu, but whoa, uh, this this looks like a huge miss for sure. And that's that's saying a lot, considering how many movies don't look very good this month. Yeah, I think this movie looks terrible, too. And I, I saw this trailer a, a while ago, because uh, it plays in almost every movie I see every week. <laughs> and... Um, me and Andrew always see it, and we're like, dude, this movie looks like trash. It does. And, it, it, and it's because, uh, you know, just it, the story does not look interesting at all. No. And I'm not I'm not impressed with the cast. Uh, I just the humor doesn't land with me. It just it doesn't look good to me. I mean, maybe it won't be garbage. Maybe it'll be mediocre or perhaps even solid. Surprisingly, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm just not impressed at all with what I've been seeing. Uh, and especially since Cardi B is in it, I'm not a fan of Cardi B. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe she's a really good actress, and I've never seen her act before. Uh, yes. But, but yeah, I, I'm not excited for this at all. A hundred percent. I mean, I won't be surprised, and don't be surprised either, Kevin, if Hustlers makes more money than the Goldfinch in the box office. Yeah. Considering <laughs> tickets are already on sale for this one, I would not be surprised, unfortunately. Yeah, honestly, and all the J Lo and Cardi B fans are gonna go and and watch it. Oh yeah. Sure. So, so yeah, that- I'm not I'm not looking forward to it personally. I think it looks terrible. So, so uh, Cardi B for a uh, best supporting actress at the Oscars. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's get it. All right. <clears throat> you guys ready? All right. I think this. I think this looks really, really good, actually, and I'm not joking. Um. So. I have heard a lot about this movie, and uh, my mom and I are going to go see this because she wants to see it for Jennifer Lopez. Oh, my and God. And so, uh, <laughs> so, like, I was like, okay, I might as well just watch the trailer because I'm, I'm, my mom wants to go see it. And it's at, like, TIFF and stuff, and some of my friends are seeing it at TIFF, so let me see how it looks. And I was watching the trailer, and I'm like, this looks really good, actually. And let me explain why I think this looks really good. To me, the film looks like it realizes, like, it, it, it seems like it understands, like, 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 like what it's trying to go for. Like, personally, in my opinion, like, Jennifer Lopez looks well casted in the type of character that she's playing. In my opinion, like, mm-hmm. like, 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 she, like, everyone in this film looks like they have, like, charisma and they have chemistry. And it looks like, like, 
they're really building upon it, and the film looks like it's, it ha- it knows like what its own style is gonna be. And you know, I mean, who knows? I mean, the film actually could provide like a really good, you know, like um commentary on you know like strippers and stuff, and you know like their jobs and stuff because you know because yeah. like you know being you know let's just be honest, like being a stripper is not like probably the most glamorous job in the fucking world, and like. Uh-huh. But like, but like this one could capture that. Obviously, so obviously the trailer is like more about like you know getting the money from you know like these Wall Street people, like you know their their clients and stuff, and like stealing their money and crap, and you know, I'm trying to be like people's like husbands and stuff, you know, for financial gain. Which you know, I mean, obviously that's not like you know like obviously you know like what you don't advocate for. It looks like the film like is gonna is gonna like explore it in a way that's really entertaining. But it it still could maybe it, it could be insightful. I mean, who who knows? I mean, we'll have to see how the actual you know film is and stuff. It's not because I, you know obviously I think the trailer is a bit stylized for the sake of you know marketing and stuff, which is obviously fine. But uh, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good actually. I I think the act that all the actresses actually look solid. I mean, obviously you know we'll have to see you know how Cardi B is as an actress and stuff. But but you know like but honestly. She used to be a stripper, so I guess it makes sense. And you know, I'm I'm actually looking forward to this now. I, I you know, definitely being at film festivals makes me more excited. But like, on itself, I mean, it it could be a good movie. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, um, I, I definitely can see where you're coming from with the whole um, you know, uh, sort of showing. Just uh, justification for like why someone would want to be a stripper and things like that. Cam last year did a very good job with that, so maybe this could be something like that. But uh, yeah, uh, go ahead, Adam. Adam. Wait, what? <laughs> Adam introduced it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Kevin. Fuck. Oh yeah, I, I, I completely forgot, but uh, alright, so if you guys are looking forward to uh, Hustlers, it does come out on September 13th, who knows, we could see a potential Cardi B uh, Oscar win, so uh, I guess that's that's uh, enough for reason to, uh, to watch it for sure, I don't know what that says about Hollywood, but whatever, uh, Hustlers, it's coming out, I guess check it out if you're looking forward to it, but uh, also on September 13th, we have a movie that I'm actually excited to introduce this is very rare very rare in this month but yes we have a movie here that i actually do think looks really good and that is monos all right so monos overall uh this kind of came out of nowhere for me i wasn't really expecting all that much from this trailer but this actually looks really really good i think um you know it's basically like showing this rebellious group of teenagers and all the nefarious stuff that they do and things like that and it, it looks like it's gonna do a really good job of kind of exploring that and uh just showing um you know what they do and how this is sort of like a normal thing for them and i, I think that's gonna be interesting to see for sure um definitely a very interesting cast here i know moises arias is in here as well which i mean he's proven himself to be a pretty good actor so I think he could be really good. Um, there's definitely some some talent behind here for sure. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm excited for this one. I wasn't really expecting all that much from it initially, but uh, watching the trailer, I gotta say I'm impressed. I think this could be something really good for sure, and I I hope it. Uh, I you know I've heard people say. This is like sort of like a, a, a different version of Lord of the Flies, which I mean, considering, you know, that story and things like that, I'm excited to see the way it is uh, portrayed here. And uh, yeah, I think I think this could be something really good for sure. I have not yeah. seen the trailer to this film, nor have I heard of it, <laughs> but the way you described it actually sounds pretty interesting, especially that Lord of the Flies thing. So I'm going to look into it. So yeah. I um actually saw this trailer before I, I saw the movie Loose. Um, they oh, sh- they showed okay. it. Yeah, and I had no idea what it was, but I, after watching the trailer, I was very impressed, and I was very and I'm very intrigued to see it. Hopefully, it plays near me. Um, yeah. Uh, like you said, one thing that really impressed me about the trailer was the cinematography. I think the cinematography looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, it seems like a really interesting story. It kind of. I don't know if you got this vibe, but from the uh, from what I got, it seems like the movie's not going to have that much dialogue. No, that, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's gonna. It seems like it's going to be more based on you know facial expressions and body language more than anything. Yeah, which which I, I don't I mean, mind. Makes, yeah, that makes the performance even more impressive when they. Yeah, don't have yeah, to. yeah, yeah. Which I'm I'm fine with. Um, I'm not familiar with the director's work, uh, no. so I, I can't really say anything about that. 
But the movie does look very promising. Um, like I said, I hope it plays near me. I don't know if it will because it looks like it's going to be a very limited release. Um, but I- I'm intrigued. And uh, the trailer had like a lot of um, praise from critics. Like they, they showed like a lot of quotes. I think Guillermo del Toro was one of the people too. Yeah. Uh, which is cool. So yeah, no, this looks good. This, this actually looks really solid. So I- I'm excited for it. Yeah, um, I'm definitely interested in this film. Um, first off, I think the cinematography looks gorgeous. And um, I actually think, like, the editing uh, in the trailer looks really good. Oh, yeah. Um, as do the, perform- as is the performances. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in this. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. But I'm definitely interested. I think it has potential. I think it could be good. So, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Manos, if you're looking forward to it, it does come out on a September 13th, hoping it is something uh, really good for sure. Now, this next movie we're talking about is quite interesting because uh, last month we talked about this movie. It never came out, so we're talking about it again. We got a different trailer to show and everything, but uh, Caden's here to uh, introduce it. And that is Freaks. So, um, this was supposed to come out last month, I guess, and it didn't, so now it's coming out this month, and, uh, I didn't see, I watched the teaser trailer, I didn't watch the new trailer that came out, but, um, the teaser trailer to this, um, no, I, I, I don't want to see this, honestly, uh, this film to me, like, I don't get it, it's like, so, like, this girl, her, her father is, like, keeping her from going out into the world, and from what I understand it, because, like, the trailer sets it, at least the teaser does. Maybe the other the official trailer, like, shows more about this. But, like, from what I understand, it's, like, it's, like, the real world. And, like, her father doesn't want her to see it. But, like, the trailer then implies that there's, like, a sci-fi element. And then, like, there's, like, then, like, he comes from, like, bloody. Like, he's, like, a, like I don't know, he's, like, a drug dealer or something. Like, I don't understand, like, what, like, what the film is trying to like like what like like what like the film is going to be about besides the fact that she ends up like walking out into the world and like her experience like, like the ice cream truck stuff where like they serve like dead kids bodies or something was fucking stupid as hell and like i get it it's supposed to be like outrageous and stuff because the dad started to protect his daughter and she's young and stuff and impressionable but like the guy who's playing her dad does not look very good in my opinion he's really overdoing it in my opinion and just like the overall story to me in this movie it does not sound as interesting as i think it could be you know, uh, maybe the other trailer makes it look better, and maybe the movie itself will be better. Uh, but for now, I'm definitely not really looking forward to this movie that much. I mean, who knows? It could be good, but I'm probably not even going to see it, unfortunately. So. All right, so uh, the last time we talked about this film, I had not seen the trailer. I have since seen the trailer, and I got to say, I actually am excited for this one. I think this could be something uh, really good for sure. Um, I think the concept makes a lot of sense to me. It's clearly trying to be like a social commentary on, like, you know, uh, aliens or, like, illegal immigrants and things like that. Or just people that are different from society and feel like they have to be kept away from society. I think that's kind of, like, what the movie's trying to hone in on. And I think they're going to do a good job with that for sure. The little girl here, I think, looks really good here. I do like uh, what looks like the chemistry between her and Emil Hirsch for sure. Uh, Bruce Dern looks really good here, too. And I, I just think this could be a really interesting movie. I've heard really good things about it. And uh, I hope it's something really good because I actually was uh, impressed by this trailer. To be honest, like, uh, you know, Double Nine was, like, ranting about how awful it looks. But I watched it. I'm like, I really don't know what you're talking about. Like, this, this actually looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I, I was not a fan of this trailer. Um, I, I don't think it looks – I get what it's going for. And um, it's not that I think the concept is shit or anything. I just think yes. the execution looks terrible. Honestly, right. I'm, I'm not. I do. The cast is good. I mean, it has a good yeah. cast. Uh, it's just that to me, at least in my opinion, it doesn't look like the actors are trying their hardest here. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I, I, I don't know. I, it, the trailer just didn't do it for me. Honestly, that's all, that's all I really got to say. I'm not really interested in seeing it. Um, I didn't watch this trailer oh my so, god <laughs> wow, no, 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 <laughs> take a drink every time someone on here says i didn't watch this trailer so, shut, but shut uh, the actual fuck up <laughs> you know there was a time when i hadn't seen any of these trailers but you know what? i watched them all today because i actually follow shut my the rules fuck up. even though i didn't see the freaks trailer last month but uh either way um 
if you're looking forward to freaks, it does. <laughs> it does come. <laughs> it does come out on <laughs> September thirteenth. Uh, look forward to it then. And uh, yeah, I've actually heard really good things about this one. Uh, the next movie, though, uh, this one that we're talking about, uh, going. Coming back to uh, just movies that look like uh, movies that should be in August, uh, Diego here is, uh, once again, very elated to introduce this this highly anticipated film. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, depraved. Now, again, a lot of you are wondering, what the hell is this? I saw, after I saw the trailer, that was my exact reaction. What the fuck is this? this <laughs> it's like, one, one of the, the comments, uh, the quotes is like a modern-day Frankenstein. Or some shit, yeah. and I'm like, dude, this is this looks ridiculous. I mean, yeah. <coughs> just watching the trailer, I uh, I was actually baffled on how bad it looked. I uh, yeah. it didn't look um interesting. It looked um, it was pretty cringy at points. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, didn't look scary. And I think at one point the movie was trying to attempt some humor and it just didn't fucking work at all. <laughs> yeah, no, it fell so flat. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I was actually in shock and wasn't paying much attention to what the movie is even about. Uh, all, I, all I know is that when I was watching it, I, I was like, damn, this looks really fucking bad. Another movie that looks awful that I got to introduce. So, yes, that, that, yes. I... Yeah. That's that's pretty much what I got to say. I really don't have much else to say. I, I don't think this movie looks good at all. So yeah, this uh, I gotta concur with you. Uh, I didn't know what this was either, but uh, I watched the trailer and wow, this looks pretty fucking awful. I must say. Um, I mean, look, there's a lot of films here that very much look like films that wouldn't really come out in September, but this just screams like an August or January film. Like, this just looks so over the top to me. Uh, the actor playing Frankenstein, I think, looks terrible here. I am not feeling him at all in this role. Uh, the whole movie, I mean, it's it looks so cheap. It looks like something on, like, the sci-fi channel just ugh, this looks so bad. I am not feeling this movie at all. Um, ugh, just an another movie this month that just looks like absolute shit. We just, we can't get away from them, and this this, this definitely looks like one of the shittiest, for sure. Never heard of this movie. Give me the show. My God. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, you guys, you guys know me. You guys know I, I love weird shit. Um, but this just looks like just I, I don't know just. <sighs> it's just uncomfortable, and I, yeah. just, I, I just, yeah. it looks just, ugh. I just, ugh, like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. what the fuck is this? Like, I don't know, just, I'm surprised to hear, like, all the positive, like... Yeah, this has, like, an 89 right now, I think, on, like, Rotten Tomatoes. I was, like, really surprised. Yeah. Uh, cause this just looks really cheap to me, honestly. Like, like Kevin said, it looks like something from, like, from, like, the fucking, like, sci-fi channel. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it just looks really bad, and just, what the fuck? But not in yeah. a good way, just, what the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you're somehow looking forward to Depraved, comes out September 13th, uh, check it out then, I guess. Uh, now we get to a film that originally I... I was kind of excited for, but now uh, not so much. And uh, Adam here is going to introduce it. Hold on a sec. Is it? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's Han. Um. Uh, this is another one that just it's like what the fuck. Yeah. Um. It just there's just so many weird movies we're talking about, and like. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? I just, yeah. I, just, I just, what the fuck? I didn't like this trailer at all. I just, yeah. no, just no. That's all I have to say. Just no. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, I, I can't speak for the movie itself, obviously, but from the looks of this trailer, this looks very disappointing uh considering that this is a follow-up from the writers of a quiet place a film that i adored from last year and i think one of the best things about it is that it didn't feel generic they were able to make it feel a lot more 
personal in that way. And this just seems like they wanted to do a follow up but had no story. And so now it's just a generic horror film. And I, I am not feeling this one at all. I think this looks not bad necessarily, but it just doesn't look good. Like I wasn't impressed by this at all. Um, the acting here, I think, looks pretty bad for the most part. It's pretty much all unknowns, honestly. Um, and it just doesn't look good. Like I was from the writers of a movie that I adored from last year, and especially a film that was so character driven. I was expecting a lot more here, and this this looks like a really lame follow up for sure. Uh, I'm, 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 oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, you go first. Seen, I have not seen The Quiet Place yet, unfortunately. I don't want to see it at some point. I have the Blu-ray. Uh, thanks, Grandma, for that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but I did watch the show for this. Uh, it's one of the shows I watched. And, um, yeah, like, to be honest with you, it just looks like 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 a spin on haunted houses and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it doesn't look like it's doing anything that interesting with it. And, like, it's definitely disappointing that The Quiet Place was, like... I know, like, why this is, like, you know, very, like, original and atmospheric type horror film. This almost like it's trying to capture the atmosphere. There are some decent visuals. Like, the, like, the one shot, like, them going over, like, the room where, like, it's, like, like it's, like, swirling and stuff. Yeah, that was uh, all right. Like, a little bit of a Dutch angle. That was kind of dope. But, like, besides that, like, the body bag stuff and, like, the crowbar or whatever and, like, the mouth, like, that with the the chainsaw stuff, it's like, it's just like, 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 it's like, like, I get it. Like, they're trying to, like, in a way, like, do, like, the tropes of horror houses, I mean, haunted, haunted houses, I'm sorry, and just, like, and just, horror like, houses. I'm sorry, and just, like, flip it on its head, but, like, it doesn't look very interesting, so that's all I decide. It could, it could, it could be good, though. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I'm surprised this movie is coming out this month because it honestly looks like a January horror film, to be yeah. honest. Uh, yeah, it looks very generic. I, I didn't necessarily hate the trailer. Uh, I don't think I don't think it looks good, uh, but it's not like I, I think there are movies we discussed that look a lot worse than this personally. But still, I don't think it looks good. Um, looks very generic, like you said. Um, it it probably could be fun. I think the concept, ha uh, you know, it, it has potential to be a fun horror film that you can watch. Um, but I don't know. I just wasn't impressed with the execution of the trailer, at least. So I'm not interested. And when I saw Eli Roth's name attached, I was like, oh, man, that's kind of a red flag. So. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But um, yeah, so if you're looking forward to Haunt, comes out on September 13th. Uh, I had hyped for this, but uh, it's very much died down, unfortunately. So, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so now we get to yet another film that uh, Diego and I just said we have no good movies to introduce. Like, at least Caden and Adam, they have some stuff. We have almost you nothing. You Miss Purple. What the fuck? Okay, I had that. I had like, two, I have, like, two good films to introduce. Like, yeah, two good films, and uh, unfortunately, this one looks like one of the worst, and that is not a biopic. I am sorry, Caden, but it is The Weeknd. All right, so this film, uh, wow, this this looks really bad for sure. Uh, this film just looks really obnoxious and just dumb to me. Uh, I, I did not like this trailer at all. I thought this was very annoying, um, and just... I. I don't have a lot to say about it. It just looks like a really obnoxious comedy that honestly feels like something that would be like on Netflix or something. You know, it's just the uh, stand-up comedian. She's like reeling over her breakup and things like that. And so they go on this weekend trip and it just, it looks really annoying. I, I, I am not liking this at all. This looks really over the top and yeah, definitely looks like one of the worst of the month for sure. And that, that's saying a lot considering how many movies look like shit. Um... Never heard this movie, but if it was about the song by Six Nine, well, my motherfucking boy, Abel Tuxman, I would care way more, even though you don't spell his name with an E, but it's all right. But, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, can't wait for the new weekend album. Watch first. the goddamn trailers, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my yeah, I've, I've never watched the trailers, usually. Well, whatever. Diego. <laughs> this looks awful. Yeah. I mean, terrible. The actors look like no one in the movie looks like they give a flat fuck. No, like, yeah. Like, it looks like they're clearly there for the paycheck, which, I mean, I don't know how much they're going to fucking pay because who's going to watch this movie? Uh, it, it does not look funny. It doesn't look charming. 
it looks so lifeless and dull. That's that's the vibe I got. It just looks so yeah, dull, lifeless, and just I just didn't care. Um I'm not gonna lie, romance is <clears throat> my least favorite genre, and the reason why is because I feel like a lot of them are cliched and do feel very similar. I mean, there are ones that are do obviously stand out and are very good. I'm not saying all romance films are like that, but my biggest problem with the genre is that I feel like a lot of them are the same. And it's kind of the same thing with this. I mean, this is a romantic comedy kind of thing. Uh, and I'm, I just was not impressed at all. It, it seemed like one of those movies that would be on, uh, similar to uh, the other movie we discussed, Strange But True, kind of like yeah. a, a Lifetime movie. Or a movie straight to, I don't know, maybe another channel. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not excited for this at all. It looks actually terrible. I think it's the third worst trailer that, uh, on this list behind... Um, uh, Satanic okay. Panic and uh, Depraved. I think it's yeah. the third worst trailer, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, I didn't watch this trailer. So. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> All right, so uh, if you guys are excited for the weekend, do your fucking homework, guys. Jesus Christ. It comes out on off. September 13th. Uh, and, you know, Kaden, he wears his weekend shirt. Sure, he doesn't even watch the trailer to this to his, to his own you movie. You spell his name without the E. Well, look, there's an E. There's, there's, there's an E in this movie. It has nothing to do with him. He stopped the song by SZA from the Control album. Good song. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But, um, yeah, it comes out on September 13th. Look forward to it, I guess. Now we get to a film that uh, we wouldn't be talking about unless Caden wasn't here. The only, Literally, the only reason we're talking about this movie is because of who's here. And I know he's just dying to introduce this one. And that is... Super size me too. Holy chicken! <laughs> um, the first super size me is one of the worst documentaries of all time. Uh, <laughs> it, it it literally all the first one was was the fucking guy. I don't what the fuck is his name. Morgan Spurlock. Yeah, Morgan Spurlock. Like, he just goes to McDonald's for 30 days and just eats a bunch of McDonald's food to show like the health consequences of eating that food. But first of all, dude. Literally, what is the point of eating it for 30 days when, like, like, what are the amount of people that are going to eat McDonald's for 30 days straight and only eat McDonald's? Like, 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 seriously, like, like, not there's such a small percentage that will do that. And, like, obviously, that's not like the best thing, but, like, here's the thing it's like if you want to do a film tackling the issues of like the fast food industry and stuff and like how like, bad it is. The way he did it just wasn't that really, like, it wasn't that interesting. Like, it sounds interesting. When you watch the movie, it's so boring and stuff. Um, yeah, with this one, this one sounds, like, slightly interesting, I guess. Like, he's opening up his own fast food place, and he's going to go into yeah. how the fast food industry gets, like, their food and the quality of the food. And, like, are they really getting healthier and stuff? But, like... I don't fucking care at this point. It's like, it's like this dude has shown that, like, he kind of does a lot of things just for the money and stuff, and, like, I feel like he's only doing this now just because, like, you know, why not? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a trendy topic right now and stuff, which I'm, you know, I'm, I'm into kind of, like, the health stuff like this, but, like, I don't know. I mean, I watched the trailer for it, and, I mean, it looks... Uh, I mean, like, I'm gonna watch it, obviously, just because I've seen the first one, and it's, like, ingrained in my mind. Uh, but this one, I mean, hopefully it surprises me. Uh, but ugh. yeah, uh, I didn't. I actually didn't watch the trailer for this movie because uh, I didn't. What the? You literally have been bitching and bitching to all of us. About how, oh, you guys need to come prepared. You guys okay, need to watch well, the trailer. Okay, well, this one. And you didn't even watch this the trailer. This was a documentary. I don't normally watch trailers to documentaries, but um, this one, this one of the most popular movies on the list, Kevin. Well, I specifically didn't watch it just because I only put it on this list to uh, to annoy you. But um, yeah. That fucking sense. But from from the premise, it, it sounds like it's basically just a rehash of the first one. I don't really know why this needs to come out. I'm pretty surprised it's coming out because of all the sexual allegations and things like that. But uh, whatever, it's coming out. Uh, look forward to it. And I, I very much. I very much look forward to uh, watching both of these with uh, Mr. Ginger right here. Wait, is there a sexual uh, allegation against, against that guy? Yeah, 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 there were. Yeah, YouTube Red dropped it because uh, I guess there were like, like sexual misconduct allegations. Oh, shit. No, no I didn't know that. Um, all, all I know is that if you watch the first one now, 
there's a scene where Jared from Subway, he's talking to these. Oh uh, my god, dude! Oh my. And the most cringiest part is when one of the parents goes to Jared after, and he's like, "You're such an inspiration to these kids." It's so (laughs) awful. Oh Oh, no! It's (laughs) all. That is awkward as fuck. Oh, that's oh, that's so. Yeah, I know. You watch it now, and you, I never went so hard in my life. It was awful. That is so Uh, fucked. Oh my god, that's horrible. Yeah. So, so actually, I I did watch the trailer uh, to this, and I will say I don't think it looks bad. Um, I'm not saying I'm hyped for it at all, or I'm like crazy. I mean, I think it looks kind of interesting. I'm gonna see it. I remember watching the first one a long time ago. I gotta rewatch it. I don't remember. I remember not thinking it was bad. Um, yeah, not the same. I yeah, was in sixth grade, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was very young when I saw it. Uh, but um, this one looks fine. It, I will say, watching the trailer, I don't think it's a rehash at all from the first one. Uh, this is more about him opening up a restaurant and him trying to make the healthiest uh, junk food restaurant there is. So they're, they're, it does kind of seem interesting. I mean, I don't know. It could suck for all I know, but um, I didn't get a bad vibe from this. But that's just me personally. I think it looks fine. Um, no, I've never seen the first one, so I, I can't comment on that. Uh, but one uh eh, it could be interesting i guess but uh the trailer didn't really do it for me to be honest with you uh i think i think the first movie just sounds really stupid to be honest with you um this one doesn't sound as dumb but uh yeah we'll, we'll see uh i'll watch the first one before this one, I'm pretty sure we're doing a cast of these. We are, so. yes, yes. I'm very so, excited. yeah, I'll just watch both of them, and I'll see. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to add something to mine because I didn't really say much. Uh, the first Super Size Me, I have seen it before. Didn't I remember? I remember liking it as a kid. I remember thinking it was like really fascinating, but again, I was in sixth grade, so that probably would not be the case I now. Saw the edited version. I mean, you didn't see the unedited version. No, yeah, I did because I remember I went to YouTube and I'm like, he's talking about a sex drive. Like this wasn't in the cut I watched Dude, at school. That, like what? that part was like, I it, it's so dumb. Like, yeah, so uh, I don't even think I've seen the whole like regular cut. I've only seen like the school version. So maybe yeah. like you know. But, uh, yeah, it's getting a sequel. Cool, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it's taken this long for this fucking movie to come out, considering that the first one was actually pretty popular for a while. But, uh, I mean, it was popular enough that McDonald's changed the uh, the portions and, sing- and things like that. But, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll have to see how it is. And, no, I did not watch this trailer, like I said, because of the fact that I only put it on here just to annoy Caden. So, yeah. But uh, if you're excited for it, if you're excited for Super Size Me 2, holy chicken, it does come out on uh, September 13th. I guess check it out, and uh, we are all hyped to uh, to watch both of these uh, once uh, once they come out. That's going to be one of the best casts we've ever done, and I don't care what Kane says. But, uh, oh my god, the next movie. Uh, the next movie we're talking about. I am so glad I am not introducing it. I, I got this close. I got this close to introducing it, and thank god I'm not. So, Diego, just introduce this before I go ballistic. All right, so the movie I'm introducing is uh, Three from Hell. I uh, <laughs> I wish I wasn't introducing this, um, but... I'm glad I'm so, not. <laughs> so this is um, a sequel uh, to The Devil's Rejects, and I believe a sequel to a, uh, House of a Thousand Corps, because I think uh, yeah. they're in the same uh, trilogy. Yeah, they so, are, yeah. yeah so, so this is the third movie in the, in the trilogy. Now, I have not, I have not seen either of the other two movies so i can't comment much about this um but i did not like the trailer uh i uh to me i've never seen a rob zombie movie i i've heard some of his songs uh for as in terms of a director i've never seen his movies but i do know that a lot of people have talked about how sadistic and um you know pretty hardcore his his movies are Uh, This movie looks like it's sadistic, like it's very violent, um, and that it'll contain a lot of graphic content that'll just be for shock value. I uh, the trailer was pretty obnoxious too. I mean, the characters 
seemed very over the top and annoying. Uh, I don't I don't hate it as much as uh, someone else in this call does, but I, I don't think it looks that good, honestly. <laughs> so that's what I got to oh, say about three from hell. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, look, I will tell you guys this. It is rare when I watch a trailer and I like I want to shut it off, but it takes everything in me to power through it. That's how I felt when watching this trailer. Uh, this has to be one of the most obnoxious um just uncomfortable and just borderline annoying trailers I've ever seen. Just the fucking girls screaming and just the delivery constantly like this and them trying to be like a purge movie or something like that. Like, what the fuck is this? This just, this looks so fucking bad. And look, I haven't seen any Rob Zombie movies and maybe, yes, I am over-exaggerating a bit, but this just, lo this, lo this looks like everything that I've heard his movies are like. It looks over the top. It looks... It's absolutely ridiculous. It looks like it's it's for a certain audience that's not me. Like, if you like his films, fine. I, I really don't think they're for me. Also, this film has to have one of the strangest releases I have seen in, like, a very long time. So this movie is... The being shown of event for it is really confusing. Yeah, so it's being shown three times at a fathom event and each time you're gonna get something different i believe the first time it's like a behind the scenes thing then the second time it's like all three movies like together like it's like a it's like an event of all three movies and then the third one's like an extended cut or something like that i i honestly don't know it's a very very strange event the movie doesn't even have a plot right now there's literally saying like the plot is currently unknown which is very odd um look if you love these movies fine that's great but this Oh my god, it just, it all, it's honestly gave me a headache, it really did. I, I fucking hated everything about this trailer. I This is easily one of my most, one of my least anticipated of the rest of the year. Just fuck, oh my god, like, look, again, like I said, there are movies that I dread, but it's rare when I get to this level of an annoyance but this this movie this trailer fucking did it and uh i was gonna try to see us in theaters but i am not doing that now i am not seeing this shit in theaters i might see it eventually but i am not seeing this in theaters especially because i'd have to fucking pay for it no big fat fucking no a absolutely not um look i've only seen one rob zombie movie i've seen the halloween 2007 one i haven't seen halloween 2 even though i heard that one's actually good Halloween, the remake, fucking suck. Uh, I've seen a few actual cuts, just to clarify. But, like, look, obviously, I know compared to Rob Zombie's other films, that one was not as hardcore as these ones are. And I was not a fan of how I'm not really into, like, super hardcore movies like this when it comes to violence. I used to be, but I'm not really anymore, to be honest. And so it's not for me. I will say, though, I mean, for the people who like Rob Zombie stuff, it looks like he's doing right what they fucking want. And you know, I know something, I mean, it's, right. it's it's sequels to arguably his most popular movies besides, um, what was the one from 2012? Uh, I don't fucking know. Lord <laughs> I don't watch this. I think it was, like, Lord Oh, of... the Lords of Salem. I actually heard yeah, that one. Yeah, like, I know, I know, like, besides that, like, like you know, uh, Devil's Redux and House of whatever, like, I know, like, whatever the what, what, what they are. Like, I know, like, they're, pop they're popular and stuff, so I guess it's cool if it's, like, a sequel to that. Uh, you know, the, the Phantom events for these do really well, so it's cool they're, they're doing this, I guess, and, uh, that... St. Goggins was in there? What the fuck? I mean, Rob Zombie gets some good people. I mean, I got, I'm not saying Rob Zombie's a bad director, it's just, like, his, st his style's not for me. Um, <sighs> so yeah, um, I don't really, at least at the moment, have any interest in this. I'm not, I watched the trailer for it, I mean... It just doesn't look for me, but I'm not saying it was bad because you know, like this is this no, really it does, it does. For, this looks this like it's for a specific audience. They want to know something, knowing that audience and knowing Rob Zombie's style. You know what? This probably was gonna this probably is gonna entertain them, and they're really excited because you know what's you know a sequel to a big movie that he made. Uh, um, uh, from the Rob Zombie films I've seen, the only one I liked was Halloween Two. Um, I thought that one was really good, really creative. Um, I thought it explored PTSD very well. Um, mm -hmm. but everything else just, I just, for the most part, I just don't care for his style. Um, it's just, it's, it's just too much for me. Um, and, and this just looks really annoying. Uh, a lot of screaming and just... 
God, yeah. Yeah, it, it just, yeah, it just looks really bad in my opinion. Uh, but like, if you like, Hayden said, like, if you're a fan of his stuff, you're probably gonna like this. Of course. Um, yeah. For the most part, I won't. For the most part, I don't. I wouldn't consider myself a fan. Um, I like his music, but his movies, for the most part, just yeah, yeah. So yeah, this looks pretty bad, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Like 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 I said, there's a very specific uh, target audience for this, and safe to say, it's not me. And I don't think I'll be seeing any of these anytime soon. But uh, you know, I try to see everything, but these are just movies that I don't even know if I can take considering how I felt about the trailer. But uh, if you are looking forward to Three from Hell, it's a very, very strange release. I guess go to it. I don't know when the fuck you're going to go to it. Um, but yeah, uh, look forward to it, I guess. Uh, comes out September 16th, but also comes out on other days that I don't know. So yeah, um, so that's all we got to say about that one. That's the only movie coming out September 16th. Now we get to maybe the most promising looking week at out of them all uh that is september 20th which there is one movie coming out that again i just i wish i was introducing but kane and adam literally have all the good movies except for a couple and uh adam go ahead that film is ad astra um so yeah uh this film in my opinion looks really good um i think the acting especially from brad pitt looks really fucking good and, like, visually, oh, no. um, like, I, I definitely want to see this movie in IMAX because it looks like the visuals look fucking <laughs> amazing. So, uh, yeah, um, I think it looks like it could be a really enjoyable movie. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is a film that I've been excited for for a very long time now. Uh, James Gray is a director that I haven't seen a lot from, but everything I've seen from him, I adore. I love The Lost City of Zed uh, in 2017. I, I think that was the a Lost very... Lost City of Zed? Yeah, that's how it's pronounced. I thought it was Lost City of Z. No, they pronounce it Zed. Yeah, no, it's um, it's pronounced Zed. Z. Z. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that. Okay. Uh, that's how they pronounce it, yeah, The Lost City of Zed. I didn't Z. know that! I'm sorry! I, I, I know. I'm Continue just saying you're talking. Okay. Okay. All right. But uh, yeah, you're all right. <laughs> Let me get back into it. So, so of what I've seen from him though, I think he's a fantastic director and I am so excited for this film. This to me looks like it's going to be the big space film uh, of this year and very deservingly. So, I mean, the plot in general is very compelling where you have this astronauts and, you know, he's going in search of his lost father and he starts to find all of these, um, you know, hidden secrets and things like that. And it looks like one of those films that is really going to showcase outer space in a very different sort of way. I'm very excited to see the way that turns out for sure. Uh, I've heard James Gray say he wanted this to be the most realistic depiction of space travel that's ever put in a movie. And I mean, considering what we got in First Man last year, that can definitely be done here for sure and unlike first man which was based on a true story this film can basically do whatever the hell they want with that and i'm excited to see the way that turns out uh the cast here is absolutely stellar brad pitt tommy lee jones Liv tyler who speaking of Liv tyler um there was a score that was playing in the trailer i'm like why is this sound so familiar was this very very like ethereal sort of uh really nice feeling i'm like why is this playing in the trailer we got max richter baby yes one of the best composers working today doing the score i'm not just saying that because he worked on the leftovers he's genuinely a really great composer but uh, i'm very excited to see what he brings here as well uh the cinematography here looks like some of the best of the entire year uh i'm just really excited for this film and i honestly hate the fact that my theater keeps playing the first trailer because it's not like that first trailer is bad it's just the other two trailers are so fucking good particularly the new trailer which i thought was like just kind of like blew me away went from a film that i was sort of looking forward to to one that i'm like hyped out of my mind for um but yeah, I, I can't wait for this. I think this is going to be, if it's not, not just one of the most visually stunning, but I think this has potential to be maybe one of the best films of the entire year. I think this looks really great. Um, so the first trailer, like the very, very first one, I saw once, I saw it in IMAX in front of Far From Home. I thought it looked mm -hmm. okay. I mean, IMAX looked pretty cool, but uh, I was kind of like okay on it. But then I saw the new I, the like the one that was like made for IMAX, the new IMAX trailer. Yeah, it looks fucking great. I mean, yeah. um, the thing that I, look, I thought looked good about the first trailer, like, and they look like they even it looks even better in the second trailer. 
is the aspect of Brad Pitt's character and his dad and, like, dealing with, like, having to live up to what his father did when it came to, you know, space travel and, like, you know, mm-hmm. like, search there and how, like, his dad maybe was, like, hiding something or was caused, like, this, like, this, like, recent, like, turn of events to happen with, like, you know, Earth and stuff or, like, you know, like, the, you know, like, environmental issues and stuff that seem to be happening and, like, he, you know, he has to go fix them now and it might be, like, his, his, it might be his dad's fault, who knows, and just, like, dealing with the struggle of, you know, one-upping his dad and, you know... That's really, really interesting. And Brad Pitt, I think, is an actor who can definitely pull that off. He's a, he's a great actor. And yeah. so, um, you know, like, I'm just very, very, you know, interested in, you know, seeing how, you know, uh, this film plays out. You know, I'm seeing Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and IMAX tomorrow. So hopefully I get the trailer in front of that because, you know, I would love yeah, to see the trailer and IMAX and stuff. And, um, you know, like, it, it looks like a film that's going to be very visually great and stuff and take advantage of, you know, space uh, and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this. It's a great cast. I love the I love the music in the trailer, and uh, I'm excited to see this. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this movie looks fucking incredible, in my opinion. Yeah. I'm so I'm so excited for it. Uh, there's been three trailers so far, and I have honestly loved every trailer. I, I think this movie looks so promising. Um, I think Brad Pitt and Tom, well, I can't say really Tommy Lee Jones because he's not in the trailer much, but, uh, Brad Pitt looks like he's going to do a really good job. So does all the other actors in it. Um, visually it looks phenomenal. I love the cinematography too. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially in the latest Mm -hmm. trailer, uh, the trailer that came out yesterday or two days ago. Uh, there are so many shots. They, they're even on Twitter that, um, you can just look at and appreciate because they're just so well shot. I guess you could say. Um, I I think this looks incredible, both visually and from a story perspective. I've only seen one film by James Gray. I saw it recently. I saw it like three or four days ago, uh, The Lost City of Zed, and I thought that was a damn good movie. So I'm I'm really excited for this. Um, Easily one of the most anticipated films of the rest of the year. I think it looks fantastic. I Honestly, if the movie sucks, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, um, same. Because I, honestly, I think this is going to be. There are some movies that come out, and you kind of have a feeling it's going to be like one of the best movies of the year, or that you know it's going to be really good. And honestly, I have that feeling with this movie. Like, I have a feeling this movie is mm-hmm. not going to disappoint, that it's going to, you know, really surprise a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to really like it. So I, I'm very optimistic for Ad Astra. Yeah, so uh, if you're looking forward to Ad Astra, it comes out on September 20th. It's definitely going to be one of the biggest movies of the month for sure. Possibly one of the biggest of the year, but uh, very excited uh, to see how that one turns out. Now, this next one, you would think would be one of the biggest of the year, um, but because of Ad Astra coming out, it's suddenly not as important anymore, but it is still a movie coming out that uh, I unfortunately am going to introduce. That is Rambo Last Blood. All right. So... (sighs) Let me explain why I I feel it's unfortunate that I have to introduce it. I'm not dreading this movie or anything. It's just, just out of everyone here, I have the least amount of stuff to add to this trailer. I don't know about the other guys here, but I have not seen a single Rambo film. I'm not familiar with this character at all. I don't know what he really does and things like that. Um, I'm sure Sylvester Stallone is incredible. I'm sure they're really good movies. I'm going to watch them before this one. Uh, In terms of this film, I mean, it looks okay when they're not playing Old Town Road. Um, I said, you know, I've seen a bunch of, you know, every time I see a movie with a Diego and Andrew, we end up talking about uh, this trailer. And I've said this so many times. If you're going to play Old Town Road in a trailer, don't expect me to take it seriously. Yes, it's a great song, but like it's a song that knows that it's stupid. It doesn't really work for a trailer that's supposed to be like all serious and shit. It kind of like. You know, it, it kind of like uh, it doesn't really blend with that tone very well. So that doesn't really work. I haven't seen the new trailer, but uh, I've gotten this trailer a lot. Every single time, I just feel really awkward. I'm like, why am I laughing at this? I shouldn't be laughing, but I am. And uh, yeah, so I, I don't really know how this is going to be, to be honest with you. I'm surprised they're honestly doing another uh, Rambo film. They did one in 2008 that I heard wasn't that great. And I, I know that one was PG-13. I, I think the one was PG-13. Um, no, 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 no. That was fucking rated R. That movie's bloody as fuck. <laughs> oh, it was? Okay. Dude, oh, yeah. No, that movie's right. bloody as shit. He's ever made. Oh, okay, yeah, I haven't I haven't heard too much about. I, I heard that one wasn't very good, so hopefully this one's better. But uh, I I don't have much to add. As I said, I haven't seen any of these movies. I know nothing about the character. I'm sure people are excited, but I I just don't have much to say here. 
Um, I've actually not seen a Rambo movie. I mean, my 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 dad actually in the eighties, uh, literally left school early to go see Rambo: First Blood Part Two in theaters oh to this day. <laughs> like, amazing. it's fucking amazing. Uh, but like I've just I've just never seen them. Like I don't know why I haven't. But like I don't know. I mean maybe they'll be my thing or not. I, I've seen the trailer for this once. I mean, Rambo, Sylvester Stallone. I got the horses in the back. Boom boom. I mean, I I, I guess I'm excited because my my family likes these movies. I don't know. It's Sylvester Stallone, but Rambo. I caught a character last one. I guess even though apparently like it won't might not be. I don't know. Who knows? Rambo. <laughs> I mean, it's called Last Blood, so it should be the yeah, last one. Yeah, but said he might make more. I don't fucking know. Why? That makes no know. sense. Don't what, you, don't, you don't call your movie Last Blood and then say there's more. Oh, who knows? It makes as much sense as playing fucking Old Town Road, but wh- whatever. Diego, go ahead. I'm rambling. So, I have seen the Rambo movies. It's been a while, though, uh, so I do have to rewatch them. Um, I... So I'm not. I'm kind of in the middle with this movie. I'm not hyped for it. I'm not dreading it. I'm. I'm like whatever with it, to be honest. Uh, I don't know yeah. if it's really. I don't know if it's really necessary, considering the last one came out in 2008, and I actually like that. I actually like that one a lot. Uh, I actually had a lot of fun with that one. Um, but I think the second trailer is better than the first one. Uh, I I think Sylvester Stallone looks like he's going to still kick ass as Rambo. But I don't know. The trailer just is just not really doing that much for me, to be honest. But who knows? Could be really good. I do have to rewatch the other ones again, though, because it's been so long since I've seen them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really got to say. Um, I have seen all of the other ones. Right. Um, I haven't. The last time I watched, I watched them like in 2013. So like, I don't really remember. Most of them. I do remember, like, the first one and the last one. As for two and three, I just don't remember those. Um, but this one, I just don't really care, to be honest with you. Like, I eh, doesn't really look that good to me. And, yeah, I just I just don't care, like, honestly. <laughs> maybe if I rewatch the other ones, maybe I'll be a little more excited. But I don't know. It's just, eh, I just don't care. Yeah, so um, if you're looking forward to uh, Rambo Last Blood, it comes out on September 20th. Uh, I, again, I hope it's good. I will watch all of the other ones in preparation for this one. I'll probably review them as well, but I uh, just don't have much to say there. So uh, speaking of movies that are very, very necessary, Caden is introducing this this next film that uh, just everyone is so hyped for, unless you're, like, you know, middle-aged. Oh, shit. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was about to drink so much. Oh my god. So, uh, here we go. Downton Abbey. Oh my god. So, you want to know what's kind of funny about this? This movie, besides It Chapter 2, is the biggest movie of this month, which, like, <laughs> I, I, I can't say I'm, like, shocked by, but, like, this film is, like, breaking, like, Fandango priest tickets. So, yeah, I know, it's crazy. Which, like, it's kind of nuts. So like this film, will, this song like might be number one the weekend it comes out. Who fucking knows? Yeah. Um, I mean, look, I've never seen Downton Abbey. I was actually maybe planning on binging it beforehand, but like I can't. The episodes are just too fucking long, and it's like I, I don't know. There's just too much story there for me. I know it's like only like what like eight nine episodes. Total. Yeah, but like the I I actually checked uh the episodes and like. The last season, almost every single one is like movie length. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like I don't know. It's not. It's not like how long is this movie? Uh, it's I uh, 122 minutes. It's too. Yeah. It's literally just an episode of the show in theaters. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, that's cool. I guess. I mean, it's cool for the fans. Very passionate fan base. They got everyone on board for it. So yeah, um, go see it if you want to. I don't really care. It's gonna be an art house. It's gonna be an art house theaters. It's gonna be an art house movie for the mainstream. I don't know. So, Downton Abbey, uh, I have literally nothing to really add about this. The show, at once once it interests me, but then once they did a certain thing that everyone kind of knows about, I wasn't really interested in watching it after that. I thought it sounded really dumb. Um, as far as this movie goes, I'm 
not gonna see it. Like there, there are movies that I, like I said, I try to see every movie, but like I haven't seen the show. I don't have any real desire to start it, so I'm just not going to see this one. Um, and I know there's like a fan base out there, but first of all, I think the premise sounds kind of dumb for like a, a movie. Like what? It's just about the king and queen arriving and them having to plan like some they them having to plan things out. Like it sounds a bit inessential. Like for for a movie version of like a, a highly love a beloved show, this seems a bit like kind of half-assed it doesn't really seem like it's it it should there should be a little bit more of an ump to this that's not really there maybe the movie itself will have that but i just feel like the premise itself sounds kind of kind of lame um again i don't know these characters all that well i've seen some clips here and there it looks okay i uh, the trailer itself is fine i guess i just I, I don't have much to add here i haven't seen the show i have no interest in starting it and yeah whatever uh it's it's good like Caden said, it's it's a huge film. It's actually breaking box office records somehow, probably because it's in Dolby theaters and things like that for the gonna opening, be a Dolby? opening night. Yeah, they're doing an early screening that's in Dolby, and then the week after that, it's not. Why the fuck is this in Dolby? I don't fucking know. But, yeah, uh, it's, okay. it's probably a great visual movie, but like... Yeah, um, it's, it's like I mean, I guess... It's like the first Why was that in Dolby? Oh, that, that, that would make sense. It was a Disney movie. I mean, yeah, I didn't have that, like, much to add to Dolby besides visually. I thought it did. Why are we debating this? I don't know. I don't know, but, uh... (laughs) Yeah, um, I mean, the fact we're talking about a different movie, that just tells you how little we care about this. So, yeah, uh, Diego, go ahead. I wish I cared. It's a big movie, but, like... Uh, Yeah, same. I just don't give a shit. I'm not gonna see it. Uh, cool if you like it. Just, I'm not gonna see it. Diego. Uh oh. Is Diego lose? alive? Did we lose him? Oh no. No, no, I'm here. Sorry, oh. I was uh yeah, I'm here. Uh so um yeah. I'm not look I'm not looking forward to this like yeah. at all. Uh I was so tired seeing the fucking trailer. Like, <laughs> so many goddamn times. I've never seen the show. I have heard good things about it. I've just never gotten around to uh, to seeing it. Um, but the trailer to me does not look interesting at all. I mean, god damn, it looks boring. And um, yeah, I'm not going to see it because I'm not I'm, I'm not going to have time to watch a show to catch up and see it. So, and it just doesn't look interesting to me. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I was just laughing because of the Wizard of Oz cover. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so oh my bad. God. Yeah, what the fuck about is the Ab- Kevin Downton Abbey's two hours and two minutes. Yeah. You said no, one wait, hour and 22 that. minutes. No, I, I said 122 minutes. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Guys, yeah, is the cover legit? Wow, looks you like actually admit it for once. Round of applause. Kane admits his stupidity. Guys, the cover hours, legit. Shut the fuck right. up. But uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck about this movie. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of us. Do. <laughs> but, um, okay, if if you're a middle-aged mom or uh, yeah, if you if you're a middle-aged mom or you're an older person, I guess you're looking forward to this. Uh, coming out September twentieth. Uh, it's it's you know shattering records. Gonna be lit. Oh. But if you're like us. Or all the Dolby screenings in Boston are like sold out. Probably mine. Honestly, I should check uh, check mine for a second. Mine are probably pretty packed as well, which is fucking weird. I, I would never expect a movie like this to be as big as it is, but uh, it was a big thing at one point. Um, it still is. Again, yeah, I, I guess the hype has not died down at all. It's very much still there. Um, you get to see an early early screening of it on september 12th if you want to um i i guess i guess check it out uh actually no my mine is not very uh, sold out at all there's not many seats in mine they'll probably change but uh yeah so uh downtown abbey not much to say looking forward to it check it if you're looking forward to check it out september uh september 20th that's all we got to say there all right now we get to a film though that uh oh boy this uh this is just gonna be one big old masterpiece we got an amazing nicholas cage film to talk about you know he goes from something great like mandy to something oscar worthy like this that diego here is very 
excited to introduce. Yes, I am absolutely excited to um, to introduce this, and that is Running with the Devil. Uh, so, Running with the Devil is um, the new Nicolas Cage movie coming out, and I think it's coming out straight to Redbox. And I'm not trying to make a joke. Like, if you Wait, really? like, if you go at the end of the credits, like it has the Redbox logo. It so might. I, think, I think that's all you need to know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to straight to Redbox. <laughs> Bro, yep. honestly, I, I forgot what the fuck this movie was about. I just remember watching the trailer and thinking that it didn't look good. <laughs> so, so, um, it's a crime drama. Yeah, I don't care about this movie. Uh, I forgot because, like, I saw the trailer. I just didn't care when I was watching yeah. it. I was like, and it just wasn't memorable to me at all. Oh, and Lawrence Fishburne's in it. I, I, yeah, I know he's in it, but um, yeah, he is. I, I think it's about like them trying to. Uh, it's about cocaine or some. Shit. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> so, so, I don't think it looks good though. Yeah, so um, recently, uh, you know, good good friends of mine, Jackson Fulcher and uh, Tony Estrada, we sat down, we watched a movie called The Score to Settle with Nicolas Cage. He was like this former uh, mob enforcer and things like that. He was, was getting out of prison. Uh, it Half of it was boring. Half of it was amazing. Nicolas Cage freak out and him playing the piano with one of the greatest scenes ever, uh, singing I've always, I'm Always Chasing Rainbow for some reason so that pretty much tells you what kind of movie you're getting into uh and now this movie's coming out and it looks almost exactly the same uh it's him dealing cocaine and he looks kind of bored and this it's gonna be amazing i i can't wait i cannot wait to watch this movie we are absolutely going to cast this one and uh it's going to be amazing i i can't wait for it i literally honestly i don't even need i watched the trailer but i didn't even need to watch the trailer all you need to tell me is nicholas cage has a movie come out and i'm on board that's all i need to know uh yeah hype 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 kaden oh I'm so, oh yeah uh so i watched the trailer for this movie uh this looks really boring and like i don't really care about this movie besides the fact that nicholas cage is in it so like yeah. he looks really subdued in it which is not a bad thing he's actually a solid actor but like I mean, like, I, eh. Is he, is it going to be like a score to settle where he's subdued in like the first two acts and the third act, he just like lets the fuck loose I mean, and I it's amazing. Mean, that'd be nice, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, straight to Redbox. What, what does that <laughs> usually, okay. Are you telling me like, is, is like the disc just going to be exclusive? Exclusively to Redbox? Are you gonna be able to buy this? Look this up. What? <laughs> what the fuck? It's pretty amazing. Uh, wow, Nick, Nicholas Cage just hit such a he he's hit his he's hit his peak for sure. He's hit his peak. Uh, um, yeah. If I do watch this movie, I'm never gonna tell Kevin my thoughts on it because oh, um, it's okay. a Nicholas Cage. Movie. Um, and yeah, uh, it looks bad. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, so running with the devil. If you're looking forward to it, it comes in on September 20th, and uh, yeah, straight to Redbox. Uh, you know what? I don't go to Redbox very often, but this gives me a reason to. And uh, yeah, so Why the fuck have you gone to Redbox before? Well, well I, I've, I've gone to it like we went to it. Oh, we went to it that one time when I was with you. Oh yeah, because I got Paddington too. Yeah, and then I left left to leave on a plane, and I came back here. Big sad, big sad. <laughs> but, um, all right. So the next movie we're talking about, though, I know Adam is uh, very, very excited to introduce for sure. Um, that's Seven Days to Vegas. Um, oh, it's actually, God. it's Walk to Vegas I, now. I, I, what was it? It says Seven Days to Vegas on the fucking thing you that said. Is, so, that yeah. is your fault. Well, it's can, it's actually really confusing because like the poster says Seven Days to Vegas, but the trailer says Walk to Vegas, so I don't even know what the fuck the title of the movie is. Well, you got it for both I, titles. I legit don't even know why we're talking about this movie um, <laughs> because it just so like why are we talking about this? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, um, uh, the trailer was really choppy, and there's a lot of narration, and the acting looks bad, and it looks cheap, 
and like I just don't fucking care. It just looks awful. Just fuck this movie. I'm never gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, this uh, th- this looks really bad for sure. Um, I'm sure I I did hear like I I was watching the trailer and I like saw in the comment section like a lot of people are fans of uh this actor Vincent Van Patten. Cool if you are, but his style of comedy here not doing it for me at all. I really did not find it all that funny. Um, the plot itself, it could be interesting. You know, he's like walking to Vegas and things like that. Uh, there was one kind of funny line when they're like, oh, he's sprinting now. But that was the only like kind of chuckle from me. Other than that, I, I didn't really like this. I, I didn't I'm not really into this at all. And uh, yeah, I, I don't even know if I'm going to see it, to be honest with you. It looks whatever. I've literally never even heard of this movie before. Oh, my God. Get up in the stage. Yeah, this movie looks so stupid. <laughs> looks yeah. ridiculously stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys said it all. I'm not looking forward to this at all. So that's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. So Walk to Vegas or Seven Days, whatever the fuck it's called. If you're looking forward to it, it comes on September 20th. I guess look forward to it. Um, yeah, so the next film we're talking about is one that I was at first kind of excited for. And now uh, not so much now. And that is James Franco's highly anticipated oh film, God. Zeroville. All right, so Zeroville overall. Uh, look, I, I really do like uh, James Franco. I think he's a really good actor. I think he his directing in The Disaster Artist was phenomenal. But I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, this, to me, seems like... Uh, okay, first of all, this movie was um, shelved for, like, a really long time. Uh, I believe they it came... It was like uh they acquired the rights to in like 2015 and it's been like sitting on the shelf since then so that kind of tells you what movie you're getting into i also find it really funny and i feel like this was kind of deliberate that this is coming out literally two months after once upon a time in hollywood and also happens to be a movie about hollywood in 1969 if you don't think that's deliberate then i don't know what to tell you but uh yeah this looks really dumb james franco's character just looks really bad here it does not seem like he's into this at all and it just looks really obnoxious also the editing in this film looks terrible it looks like he's trying to do like tarantino or something like that and it is not working here at all i i it also is one of the strangest casts ever like you go from actors like seth rogan danny mcbride um uh, Will Ferrell, people that, you know, James Franco would normally act with, to fucking Megan Fox for some reason. Then you have Joey King in here, just like a really weird assortment of actors overall. Um, yeah, this just looks really bad, I have to say. And I, I was kind of excited because, you know, James Franco's directing, but I got to say, and Ab and I have talked about this, I, I really think Disaster Artist was kind of a fluke. I feel like he had passion in this, in that one, but this one, it seems like he just cobbled something together made it on the fly and it, it very much seems that way i feel like this is one of those movies that like you're only gonna like if like you're high or something like that that's what it seems like to me i haven't seen future world last year but hey now i have a reason to watch future world so i, I guess that is that is a a positive here but uh yeah this looks this looks bad <laughs> um i mean it sounds kind of interesting, like, the idea of, like, every movie has, like, a secret movie or some shit like that. Like, I guess that's kind of cool, but, like, everything else looks really boring and, like, yeah. kind of, like, like generic, I guess. Like, yeah. I mean, who knows? It, it might be entertaining. It might be funny. But, like, besides that, I mean, yeah, I mean, it has an interesting cast. Megan Fox, pretty, pretty interesting woman. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Is Joe Joey King my top her performance in the, in the act? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> honestly, uh, I was not impressed with this trailer. Um, yeah. actually, I actually thought the trailer was pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was. It was. And it's and it sucks to say because it has a really good cast. Um, not just James Franco, but uh. Seth Rogen's in it. Craig Robinson. Yep. Um, I feel like there's some more famous people, and I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, Jackie Weaver. I, yeah. Yes, Jackie Weaver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She plays the uh, the mother. I think. Yep. Um, yeah, the trailer just didn't do it for me. Um, it just looked dull. Uh, it looked kind of. It looked boring, and 
it didn't catch my interest for a trailer. So, yeah, I don't think it looks good. Yeah. Um, I love James Franco. And I love yeah. his whole crew, you know. I love the guy. And this has a great cast. It's just... But it just looks really boring, like you guys said. Um, the trailer goes on for way too fucking long, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's really badly edited. Yeah. And, like, I just, I don't really have a lot of hope in this film. Like, it, they shot this in 2014. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder why it took so long for them to release it. Probably yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Why it takes so long? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just... Yeah, I haven't... The only other James Franco film I've seen is The Disaster Artist. Uh, and that movie I love, but, like, I hear, like, a lot of his other films are kind of like this. They're just really cheap and thrown together. Yep. It's not very good. So, yeah, this just looks really bad, in my opinion. Uh, definitely not looking forward to this at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Zeroville, if you're looking forward to it, it comes out on September 20th. I feel like I'm saying the same thing for, like, most of these movies here, but uh, check it out if you're interested. But, uh, yeah, not not feeling it at all. But uh, speaking of movies we're not feeling at all, Caden is now going to introduce this next film that uh, is not at all related to the Netflix show that uh, just ended last year. But uh, he is going to introduce it regardless. Bloodline! What the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> um, this film literally looks like if American Psycho and Dexter had a baby. Mm -hmm. Um, no. I just, I don't care about this movie. It does not look funny. No. It, I, I'm not that interested in it, really. Um... <laughs> Like, I, like, yeah, like, yeah, I guess, like, the idea of, like, a guy, like, killing people who treat their kids like shit, like, yeah, I, but that's interesting, but, like, I don't know. I mean, it just looks literally just like Dexter at American Psycho had a fucking baby, and to me, it, I'm just not interested in that, really. So. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I was against this film pretty much the second I heard Sean William Scott was casted. That, to me, is, like, the one of the worst like casting choices ever for something like this look i don't think he's a bad actor or anything but i he just no as as like a serial killer or, like whatever he's doing no it is it is not working here at all uh, i think he is horribly miscasted here and that alone is enough of a reason as to why this movie looks as shitty as it does it's just because his acting does not look convincing here at all. Um, and this movie just looks kind of boring. Like, I wasn't really into the trailer for the most part. I don't know why the hell someone like Kevin Carroll is in this. Uh, again, another Leftovers reference. But, I mean, you should expect that from me at this point. Um, yeah, this just this looks really bad. I know we're saying that for a lot of films here. But this uh, it just looks bad. Really. Uh, and I'm going to be honest. Like, the first <laughs> time I... Bless you. The first time I heard about this movie, I thought it was like a, a video game or something because it was like on the IGN like YouTube channel. It wasn't anywhere else. So I thought it was like a fucking video game. But no, it's a movie. And uh, yeah, uh, um, whatever. It looks really bad. So um, I have not seen the trailer to this, so I have no comment. Oh my God. <laughs> Hey, this is, my, this is my first time I've said that shit. <laughs> so. Yeah, fuck you. Guys. Well, we've all collect. Well, okay, fine. We've all have. We've all haven't seen at least one trailer. That just tells you how this month looks in general. But uh, Adam, go ahead. <laughs> this is another film that looks bad, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, just wow. Um, this month just looks like shit. I just don't care. Like, I'm probably never going to watch this movie. Like, I honestly just don't fucking care. Yeah. 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 I just... I, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, so uh, Bloodline, if you're looking forward to it, it comes in on September 20th. Uh, watch it now on Netflix. There's a great... It's a great show. Uh, no. No, I didn't even I didn't even finish that show, but uh, whatever. Uh, look forward to it, I guess. So that those that's that's everything coming out on September twentieth. We now get to uh, the uh, last week here, where uh, we have a film that I know Diego is very very excited to uh, introduce for sure.
Diego? Yes. Uh, sorry, I was just looking at something on my phone. So oh. it is, yeah, sorry. Uh, it is my turn to introduce um, another movie I'm so excited for, Abominable. <laughs> oh, God. So, so it's another animated movie coming out. Um, honestly, it looks pretty fucking stupid. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was not impressed with the trailers. Um, it looks like those a- one of those animated movies that the demographic is strictly for kids. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, no. I, it's just, as an adult, um, I just don't care. Uh, and, um, yeah, I, I just, I'm not intrigued to see this. Uh, I, I, I didn't laugh at the trailer. And I think it looks pretty generic, so. That's what I got to say about Abominable. Yeah, when it comes to uh, Abominable for me, I have a very weird history when it comes to this film. So I want to say for a good like four or five months at my AMC, they were playing a trailer for this movie. It wasn't the trailer you see now. It was like only half of the trailer um, and it wasn't online yet. And, you know, me and a couple of the guys we talked about about how shitty it looks and then it finally came out and this trailer like the one that's out i don't think is as bad mainly because of just how uh confusing it is like the first half of it feels like something in tone of a pixar movie where you have this girl and her grandmother and she's talking about how like she wants to escape and things like that and you have her with like the violin it's kind of sweet but then once Everest comes in it turns into just a stupid kitty movie and so it's it's a very confusing film for sure because on one hand you have something that does look kind of heartwarming but then on the other hand you have something that looks really fucking stupid and you have lines where the dude's like I have blueberries in places where blueberries have never been like stuff like that um the animation does look pretty good here for the most part. I think definitely that's going to be one of the best things about this film. Um, and uh, yeah, this just uh, this just doesn't look very good. I'm not dreading it like I originally was, mainly because this trailer, the one that's out now, isn't as bad as the one that was out in theaters for like four or five months. Uh, but it's still doesn't look very good at all but the one good thing about this film coming out is that it's called everest which means we will finally get a follow-up to the everest review that uh kaden and tony did uh way back in 2015 i know that's enough for reason to get you excited oh my god we should do that yeah i've I've talked to tony about that for a while i already have an idea for what we do with that but basically um i'm fucking tired and This film, this is a DreamWorks movie, right? Yes, it is. How the fuck is this a DreamWorks movie? The animation looks like absolute garbage. (laughs) Like, like I was watching this trailer and I was like, this looks like the same type of animation from Norman the North, but like better, like slightly better. Like, like, I, how is like, I don't get it. Like, like, why is the animation so like bad? Like, the movie doesn't look that great to begin with, so it's, like, really weird to see this be a DreamWorks movie, because, like, I think they're the, uh, I mean, they're probably the best animation studio besides Pixar. Maybe, like, Lake is in there. Yeah. There's definitely some other ones in there, but, um, you know, so, I mean, the movie itself looks like my neighbor Totoro combined with, like, I don't know, some other shit. I mean, I guess it looks cute. I'm not gonna want to see it, probably. Um... Yeah, and I, 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 just, I can't go over how bad the animation looks. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, this looks really stupid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm glad someone just, agrees. Another person uh, agrees. <laughs> the character designs are really bad. Uh, they look really just what the fuck. Um. Yeah, it just looks like a dumb kids movie. It doesn't look like anything I'll enjoy. I'm probably I, I just it's not a movie I think I'm ever really gonna see to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, just don't care. It looks pretty bad. And yeah. <laughs> All right. So abominable. If you're looking forward to it, it comes in on September 27th. Not much to say there, but the next film we're talking about. Um. So, like I said, Adam came in here on the last minute, and there's a very good 
reason for that because of a certain film that is coming out this month that he actually is excited to introduce. That is The Death of Dick Long. Now, as you guys know, I love Army Man. I don't even need to, like... like I, I, I love that fucking movie. Yeah. Uh, and the director of that film are the Daniels. And this film is actually going to be directed by one of this film's going to be directed by one of them, and that alone has me had me really excited. Then I watched the trailer, and I think it looks pretty great, honestly. I think yeah. um, the acting all looks really good. I, I think it looks really similar to Swiss Army Man. I think it looks really weird, but in a very different way. And yeah. the trailer didn't really show, like, a ton, which I like. Uh, uh, but I do hear the movie's really good, so that's cool. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, like, it just, it just, uh, this looks really interesting. Like, I like the whole, like, I like the plot of it, and, like, yeah, um, looks good. I'm excited. Probably, like, honestly, it's probably my second most anticipated of September, behind it, Chapter 2. It looks really, uh, looks pretty great, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, this film came out of nowhere for me. Uh, I I remember this trailer was released, and I didn't, for some reason, pick up on the fact that uh, uh, one of the Daniels from Swiss Army Man was behind it. But now knowing that, uh, I got even more hyped. And yeah, I think this looks really great for sure. What I love about this movie is that it's so different from Swiss Army Man that way. It's like it still has that quirky, weird feeling, as you said, but it's something much more larger in scale. It's more of a mystery kind of film. And I think it looks like a lot of fun. I'm very excited for this one. I don't have, like, a ton to say about it. Um, and it doesn't look like it's going to have that, like, deep authenticity that, like, you know, Swiss Army Man have. But that's not really what I want. I just want to see more stuff from these guys because of how much I adored Swiss Army Man. The fact that now we finally have another film from at least one of them, uh, that alone is enough for reason to get me excited. But the movie itself also does look really good. So, yeah, I'm definitely down for this one. Uh, yeah, I'm- Oh, sorry. I keep oh, forgetting. Katie no, goes first. You can go first if you want to. Honestly. <laughs> no, no, no. Go, no, go ahead, bro. I, I forgot. Sorry. That's <laughs> no, fine. Um, I think this movie looks okay. Honestly, I mean, the plot is, I guess, somewhat interesting, but the execution to me doesn't really look that interesting, in my opinion, or that unique. Which, at least for me, which I was kind of surprised by, considering so Sorry Man is one of the most unique films I've seen this decade. Um. And so, you know, I, I will, I do think it's going to be good, though, but, like, I just, at least in the trailer, I wasn't too impressed, um, but that's just me. I'm still looking forward to it, though, because, obviously, the talent behind it's great, so, um, yeah, but the trailer was all right, so. I think, personally, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not, it's not, like, one of the most anticipated films of the fall or anything, but I think yeah. um, it looks like a solid film. I uh, like Swiss Army Man. Um, and, uh, this looks very different from that, obviously. So, and the cast is, I like the cast a lot in this, in this film. Yeah, I think it has potential to be a good movie for sure. And it's A24. It does, like Adam said before, it does look kind of weird, but, um, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. No. So, yeah, I mean, I'm intrigued more than anything for this movie. All right, so if you're looking forward to The Death of Dick Lawn, it comes on September 27th. I'm not sure too many people know about it since the trailer just recently came out, but uh, yeah, interested for sure. And now we finally get to a film that I actually give a shit about that I'm introducing. Uh, This is one that I've been excited for for a very long time. Very excited to introduce it, and that is the highly anticipated uh, Judy Garland biopic simply called Judy. All right, so Judy... uh, automatically on board for this one. Just hearing that there's going to be a Judy Garland biopic, I mean, I think she's one of the most fascinating, but also is probably one of the most tragic uh, uh, stories out of any celebrity in Hollywood. So, And I'm endlessly fascinated by that story. I don't know what it is. Like, it's so tragic, but yet I find it so endlessly compelling in, in that way. Um, and so just hearing they're going to do a film about her, um, I'm very excited for. I think she's one of the greatest entertainers out there. There's, just, there's never going to be another Judy Garland. And... Honestly, I'm not the big fan of Renee Zellweger. I really can't think of a movie that I think she's been that great in, but she actually looks really good here. I think this could actually be a really good performance from her. She's got the isms down really well. She's got the spunk of Garland down. She's got the 
charisma of her. She's got it all down pat. And I think she could do some really great work in this film. Um, and it's also, uh, I, I like, what, the other thing I like about it is that it's not a biopic about Judy Garland. It's about a specific time in her life. Um, you know, when she was out of point when you know she was highly addicted and things like that and she was doing all this uh stuff that was just really damaging to her um and it definitely is going to be hard to watch only but it also seems like they're going to in inject it with some nice uh levity which i i kind of like like the scene where she's about to go on but she doesn't want to sing i think that that's kind of a fun scene uh just overall this is a film that i'm very excited for um I, m I probably more excited for it than most people just because of how much i adore judy garland i'm very excited to see how this turns out but i think this has a lot of problems for sure i hope this is the first renee a Zellweger performance I actually love because I think she's doing some great work here. Hopefully that's the case in the actual film. Um, besides her, you got a really great cast here. I mean, Finn Whitrock, uh, Jesse Buckley, uh, just a really, really great cast for sure. I know there are going to be flashbacks in here. I'm interested in seeing how they implement those for sure. But uh, I really hope that we can watch this and see this as like the definitive uh, Judy Garland film. Because like the one that came out on ABC, it's good, but it's also a TV movie. So it's not up to par with something like this. So I, I really hope this gives us that, that biopic that an icon like her really does deserve. Because I think this could be really great. Um. I'm excited for this movie just because I feel like Judy Garland's story is a very hard, like hard story to capture. Yeah. But this one, I feel it looks good. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, you know, the thing I'm really interested in seeing the most though, is like, does it, does it handle the trauma that Judy Garland went through and like the pain that she went through like well enough? Because like, you know, like, like obviously like, you know, Judy Garland's a fucking icon and stuff. And I want to make, I just want, I hope the movie handles it really well because yeah. obviously this is a story you don't want to fuck up because Judy Garland is one of the most iconic actresses of all time. And, um, you know, I know it's Kevin's favorite actress and stuff. And, you know, yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just hoping it's good. Um, I like the trailer, the two trailers from uh, what uh, I've seen. And I hope I can see this movie. Is it going to be limited? Is it will be good? Will I, I think it is wide, actually. It is? Okay. Because, yeah. okay, well, hold, I, I might go see it if it's, you know, in theaters. Yeah, I see it. So, well, also, I forgot to mention, um, it is based off of the Broadway play End of the Rainbow. I've heard great things about that as well. And I'm interested in seeing how they do adapt that, because obviously that was a Broadway show. This is a movie. Um, and I'm excited to see the way they adapt that for sure. Yep. So, um, I am like 50-50 on, on this. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think it looks bad. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. Nothing really screamed out to me as in something I needed to see right away. Uh, I I agree with Kevin when he says that uh, I'm not particularly a big fan of the actress, but yeah. I do think he, I do think here she looks very strong as the, as the uh, Judy Garland. Yeah. Um. So we'll get to see uh, how it is as a as a biopic. Um. Like I said, I'm not hyped i'm not dreading it i'm more intrigued than anything so mm -hmm. yeah i'm kind of the same way um now i do think the, the acting here looks really great uh but the execution eh, uh i'm hoping it's a good movie though um, but i'm not really like excited for it so yeah uh mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> All right, so Judy, if you are excited for it, it does come out on September 27th. Uh, really hoping it is uh, something special for sure, because I, I think this could be something really good. But uh, all right, so the next film we're talking about, though, I don't really think anyone's really heard about. Uh, it is supposedly a wide release. I'm not entirely sure about that, but Caden uh, here is going to introduce it. And that is The Day Shall Come. What the fuck are you doing? Um, this movie looks all right. Uh, yeah. you know, you know, to me, it kind of looks like it's trying to kind of be like a sorry to bother you in a way where like it like subtly like handles, you know, like, you know, race relations and stuff. But, uh, the, the, you know, hopefully, if it, you know, it handles that and, you know, an interesting way in a way that, you know, def you know, that, um, you know, because like in like a refreshing way, because like I feel like films recently have been handling those topics, you know, in a very, really, really great way. Uh, and you know, hopefully the comedy in this one and the absurdity of it works well as well. It has a decent cast. Uh, it has uh, it has one. Uh, it has Kevin's girl in it, and uh, oh, yeah. 
And, uh, yeah, so, you know, it could be good. Uh, I definitely have some interest in it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this this looks all right. Uh, I was kind of expecting a little bit more from it, but it, it doesn't look bad or anything. It's just... I don't know. It didn't didn't really grab me in the way that I wanted it to. Uh, I do think the cast here looks really great for sure. The main dude looks like he's going to give a really strong performance. Uh, it's just as a film, it's not really grabbing me all that much. Maybe the movie itself will be different, but just right now, I, I don't have too much to say. It looks all right. <clears throat> um. They shall come. I did not watch the trailer, so oh I have my no God. Wow. <laughs> Take a drink every time one of us says we didn't want to watch a trailer. Actually, don't do that because you will die of alcohol poisoning. Yeah, legit. So don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, it's not really doing it for me. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the cast is great, but, like, like you guys said, like, the movie's not really grabbing me, and, yeah, so I don't really have anything else to say. All right. (laughs) <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you're looking forward to the day show, come comes out on September 27th. I guess I'll uh, look forward to it. And now we have one more film to introduce. Wait, wait, what's um, the last film we have to introduce? Extraordinary. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't watch the trailer to that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's not on the list. No. I added it at the last minute. No. And then you I, didn't send it to us. I did. I said watch the trailer. Yeah, but you didn't put it in the list. What are you Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I literally. Really said, watch this trailer, guys. We're talking about it now. Kevin, you know what? You talk about it then. <laughs> well, Diego's the one introducing it. Well, Diego, introduce the movie and then just bring it to Kevin. I don't know. <laughs> uh, wait, what's it called? Extraordinary. <laughs> Extraordinary. It's a movie coming out this month, apparently. So check out the trailer on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, my dumbass uh, sent this last minute. So apparently because of that, none of these guys knew that we were talking about it. Uh, and it kind of sucks because I think this looks really fucking good, actually. This is probably one of my most anticipated of the month. Uh, the plot of this, I think, is really interesting. It's like this woman, she's got these like supernatural abilities. Um, and she has to save this like possessed girl and things like that. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Um, but uh, anyway, she has these supernatural abilities, and uh, basically she has to, like, save this possessed girl and things like that. And uh, I think this looks like a lot of fun. Um, I'm very excited to see how this... Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Um, but I think this looks really good. I'm excited for it, and I wish you guys watched the trailer because it looks like one of the more promising films coming out this month. Oh my God! But yeah, extraordinary. Uh, look, look, look forward to it. Um, I've never heard of this movie, and I want to go to bed. America, That's thirteen crazy. reasons why season three and two and a half hours. The fuck is that shit? Fuck you. But I. Uh, yeah, so with that, guys, uh, we're hey, gonna... wait, wait, we have your Adam spots on the trailer. All he's going to say is, <sighs> No, that's not true. You are, no, that's not true. There, there's my thoughts. Hey, we wouldn't say this. I see, Kevin, I told you. I can't, and that's Adam exactly just went into what he Kevin, Adam just talked about it for five and a half days. Mm. <laughs> really? Yeah. That is quite an achievement for sure. I don't think I've, I've ever seen something like that before. Fuck up! But, uh, yeah, so with that, guys, we are now done here. Those are all the movies coming out in <laughs> September. I know there was, there for sure, a lot of movies you guys haven't heard of, but uh, either way, this was definitely, I, I guess, a lot of fun, even though half of us didn't, you know, most of us, did, uh, well, not most of us, but some of us didn't watch half of the damn trailers. But, Fuck um, up, Kevin! 
before we we close things out here, I guess I'll give my my very rude guests here uh, their their little little things. Uh, first of all, um, you know he's. He's excited for, uh, you know, it chapter two and things like that. And he's annoying as hell as usual. Uh, but what do you want to say, Caden? I'm more excited for Virtue versus my season for coming out in a few hours. Oh but, uh, uh, but like, where's our Virtue versus my season two review? It's, I gotta edit it. I'm gonna edit it after this video and it'll be up. Bro, the fucking first season's gonna come out before our fucking video on it. But anyways. I, I know, I know, I know. I haven't had time to edit it. Okay, whatever. But like, just like. I'm fucking tired, but like, thank you for having me on. We talked about some fucking movies. Uh, Diego just left. <laughs> and so, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> and so, um, I hope all of you have a, have a wonderful day. I love you all. Remember to squeeze your cats. And um, yeah, meow. Well, I, I was gonna give Diego his uh, his outro, but he just abruptly left. So, Adam, is there anything you want to say besides, you know? Ooh, big ass milk. That looks that looks like a good video. <laughs> Are you at fucking Pornhub? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my I... god. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for having me on. Um, yes. This was great. <laughs> um, I'm so like, tired. Like um. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. I these, these are a lot of great films. Oh yeah, a lot of talk, great stuff. So, uh, yeah, fuck you, suck a dick. Thank you. All right, so uh, with that, guys, we are now done here. Um, of Where course, I uh, always... go. Yeah, where the fuck did he go? I don't know what to call him. I, I'm going to. Oh no, I broke it. What did you break? The fucking gun that I've been firing. Well, never mind. I got it working again. That, wait, no, what wait. is that? It's a fucking toy gun, first of all. Oh my god. Am I gonna get shot? Fucking shoot you in the dick. Oh, bitch. like, with 21 Jump Street, let's go. Yeah. Where the fuck is Diego? You know what? Just end it then. We can do the Diego outro later. Okay, fine, fine. We'll we'll do that later. But uh, either way, guys, that's it for this video. As Everyone always, comment down below. In a threatening class. No, we're not doing that again. That's not a thing. We're not doing. We're not bringing that back. But uh, as always, guys, comment down below. Let me know what movies you guys are looking forward to in September. That's it for this video. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in my next video, and we'll see you guys for that. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. bye.